NFL fans, it's time to unwrap nonstop football action. This holiday season, throw down on big matchups with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. This week, new customers can bet just five bucks on any NFL and score 150 bucks instantly in bonus bets. Download DraftKings Sportsbook now with code Shannon. New customers can bet five dollars on any NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. The best route runner in Cincinnati Bengal history. We'll leave it at that. Ring of Famer. In it. <laughs> NFL history. Let's get it together. We're we going to work it. We're going to get that introduction together, baby. We're going to get it together. Okay. In AFL history, because the Bengals originally joined, they were in the AFL. <laughs> <laughs> they, they weren't, but okay. Uh, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, thank you. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you. We are now at 481,000 subscribers, Ocho. We've also mm -hmm. pinned the link for Shea by Laportier at the top of the mm -hmm. chat. The holidays are right around the corner, so please head out, mm. grab yourself a bottle or for someone that you love. Let's jump right into it, Ocho. We got a lot to cover tonight. The Seahawks beat the Eagles 20-17. to The Seahawks were 4-12 on third downs, entering the final drive. They trailed mm. all game, but with two fill-in starters, they came in when they needed to. Two interceptions yeah. by Julian Love, mm. a 92-yard ga game-winning drive by backup Drew Locke, Capped off by JSN, Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. And Nigba. <laughs> Jigba. <laughs> yeah, and Jigba. <laughs> His second game with a touchdown score of the season. Mm -hmm. Jalen Hurst was 17 to 31, 143, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Mm -hmm. Ocho, let me start this off. Yes, sir. In a situation like this, yes, you sir. know the number one thing we say nothing cheap, nothing deep. Mm. Nothing cheap, nothing deep. Yes, Brad Barry, you got one responsibility. God dang it, you had just got beat up the rail <laughs> by DK. So that you didn't learn your lesson on that one. I'm going to press again. I'm going to do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. And now you give up a game-winning touchdown. Uh, yeah. They need The only way you mm -hmm. lose that game, Ocho, mm -hmm. yes, a sir. touchdown. A field right. goal does them no good. Mm -hmm. Why are you up there trying to press? Mm -hmm. but I think, I think, I think, okay, before you finish, I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. In Bradbury's case, I think Bradbury is a little bit more comfortable in situational football like that, or maybe just in general, being up and pressing and being able to get hands on a being able to get hands on a receiver and trying to find leverage that way. Okay, that it just so happened in this instance, it didn't work out in his favor. But go ahead and finish your point. Oh, Joe, do you right. realize that you have a lead? The only right. way you lose that game if you give up right. a touchdown. Yeah, touchdown. Ocho, you're you right. You can't say because I'm more comfortable what is right. in the best interest of the team. At mm -hmm. that point in time, you throw what is most comfortable for you mm -hmm. out of the window. Second of all, why are you playing but single I, I, high? I, I'm glad. Right. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because obviously the defensive coordinator made a certain call. The defensive coordinator made a call based on based on the situation and what he felt the players he had out there were most comfortable in. And that would be single high and bad break. Excuse me. Let me slow down because I'm talking too damn fast. And Bradbury playing bump and run, which is why they were in single high, because he trusted them. Because if he felt there was a weakness, if, if he felt there was a weakness in that certain coverage, then he wouldn't have a minute. And just, thing, you, you got you got beat at the most unopportune time. Yes. Yeah, and the, man. And the thing is, is that yes, slaves on the other side, they're picking mm -hmm. on you. What does that tell you? If a team was willing to go at supposedly your best corner, now your right. other corner, your all other uh, Pro Bowl, all pro corner, mm -hmm. he's out. And they yeah. say, you know what? We don't care. We don't want the guy on the other side that's filling mm -hmm. in. We don't mm -hmm. want the backup. Right. What does that say about you, Ocho? Let that sink out. Right. I want people at home that's hearing me. I'm going mm -hmm. to do like you, Ocho. I'm going to mm -hmm. slow down. Yeah, they didn't pick on the guy that replaced Darius Slay. They yes, went and picked on the guy that supposedly is their best corner. Mm -hmm. You have one job, nothing yeah. cheap, nothing deep. Nothing deep, yes, sir. You gave up DK, DK up the rail. Okay, you mm -hmm. gave that up. You said, well, damn, mm -hmm. maybe I should back off on this situation. Hey, that, 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 was, that was a good catch now. That was a hell of a catch. Uh, that, that was, was a, a hell good of a catch. catch. That was a hell of a catch. Yeah. Nothing cheap, nothing deep. So in other right. words, nothing should be behind you, right? Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah especially we, in, in that situation. Thank, thank you, Ocho. Yeah. This is not the first quarter. There's less than a minute in the ball game. The mm -hmm. only way you lose this game is mm -hmm. if you give up a touchdown. Right. It does them no good to try and get in field goal range. They need seven in mm -hmm. order to beat you. And you give that up. Yeah. So do you put the onus of this loss on the defensive coordinator? Or you just or the strictly bad bear because obviously there's a play call that comes in. The linebacker sets the call, makes the call for the defense, and they just line up and execute what is called from the defensive coordinator sitting up in the sky. Ocho. So who who you put it on? You remember I've been telling y'all, I said, Elcho, that yes, secondary sir. can be had. How many how long have I been telling you that secondary can be had? How many times have I told you I watched Sam Howell throw for 394 and four touchdowns? I watched watch right. Dak Prescott light their ass up. I watched mm -hmm. Brock Purdy light their ass up. Everybody has <laughs> lit them up. So what is the what doesn't the defensive court what does the defensive coordinator know that mm -hmm. I don't? Right. He's right there. He's taking mm -hmm. it off on tape. They're terrible mm -hmm. on the back end. Yeah. And now you're one of your best guys. He's out. And you still want to with, even when you're at full strength. Mm -hmm. your secondary is getting toasted. And yeah. so you mean to tell me with a couple of guys out, you're willing to play that same coverage? Look, I I don't know, Dre, but when I watch Bradbury, I've never been impressed with his cover skills. I, I, I don't look at him as a, I don't look at him as a Ram, Jalen Ramsey. I don't look right. at him as a, I don't look at him as those guys. I think he mm -hmm. opens the gate too much. I don't think he's nearly physical enough. He's up mm -hmm. in press coverage, but he ain't putting hands on people. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this situation, you cannot give that up. Right, right. But I, I mean, and, and, and another I, thing, I, I don't want to make no excuses for him. I don't want to make no excuses. Well, for don't him because we, we we saw we saw we saw we saw what happened again. Playing defense, playing corner, which I think, and I've said it multiple times, I think playing defensive back is the most difficult position on the field outside of playing the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. And in in it's a, tough. in a, in an unfortunate opportune time, you give up a TD when it mattered most to get a goddamn stop. Yes. With a minute left to go on the goddamn clock. If anything, listen, if anything, if I was Bradbury and I was a little uncomfortable and un, and it was a little unsettling for me to be in bump and run in that setting, you know what? I would have walked my ass right on off and played at 7. Yes. Read McKee, read McKee, yes. read the three step, and then get my eyes back on back on the receiver. And then if he's going deep, then you're already in position to make a play on the ball. Right, right. But then then you got to worry about getting chewed out for not following the instructions of the goddamn defensive court coordinator and the play that he the defensive play that he did call. And then they put the other guy on him. They say, nah, DK, go on over there. You don't have you don't <laughs> had your fool of him. Hey, we hey, JSN, you take him. <laughs> I mean, hey, don't, I mean, don't I, say it. Don't say it like that. No, but I'm, I'm, just, like that. I'm, I'm just being honest. Right. I mean, for you, for, for, I mean, and I've been in situations where I've had coaches to mm -hmm. tell us, you make sure the starter doesn't get hurt because his backup mm -hmm. is better than he is. So what we would do, mm -hmm. that's your get around the pile, Ocho. We put my arm. Well, I don't want you to get rolled up because the guy right. that's backing you up, he going to tear my mm -hmm. ass up when he come here. So I'm right, going to make right. sure, I'll make sure I'm going to get you for four quarters. I ain't mm -hmm. dealing with that, that joke on the, <laughs> that's on the sideline. Right, and right. so for them to bring, to, to, for DK, to, DK beating him, that's no problem. DK is a mm -hmm. Pro Bowl wide receiver. He's yeah. a veteran wide receiver, a yeah. big body guy. And here, mm -hmm. why the hell are you trying to press DK? You know he wants to play through contact anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But another thing, again, in, in the case of Bradbury, bigger receivers struggle when you can attack him at the line first. You get a little bit of an advantage if they, can, if they can't get off. If, if they can't get their hands off you, yeah, then you, you can win. You can win that battle. A bigger target. Yes, Slow him down is. a little bit and, may, and maybe get a little advantage. It didn't work in that case. On the They're slant. It didn't work with the with the PI. It didn't work, yeah. and it didn't work on the deep ball. Ocho, that's good if you technically sound like a long arm Rebus. Yeah, Rebus was yeah. technically sound. Rebus Very. was never Rebus was never going for the first move. Mm -hmm. Oh he no, wasn't going, he, he, he wasn't biting on all he, that. All I, that you dancing, Rebus said yeah. you ain't left the he line of scrimmage. And, and this, this is <laughs> this is the thing about Rebus. That 2009 season was so special, and I don't think people understand how special it was. I always talk about that's one of the first things I talk about when I talk about Rebus. Listen, you know Sally May. You know how many people owe Sally May? Yeah. You know how pay? You know how patient Sally May has to be because yeah. she ain't never getting the motherfucking loans back. She ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody paying them shits. That's the kind of patience Rebus had. Yeah, that's the part. There's only one player. 
There's only one player I've ever seen in the history of Reeves' career that I've ever seen actually get him, and that was the great Stevie Johnson. Consistent. Well, you got to be quick, fast twitch. A big receiver, yeah. he's going to eat him up. Oh, a every, big every receiver, time. He every time. Eat him up. Every time. This man was so motherfucking strong. Oh, shit, I cursed. My bad. God forgive me. He was so strong, and he had an mm-hmm. arm bar. He had an yeah. arm bar. Yeah. His ball skills was elite. Yeah. Everything about him was elite. It, 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 was, it was great. So think it, the, the chance of us seeing anything like that again, it's going to be a long time coming. It's going to be and a very was, long time coming. He was great at riding you to the sideline. Mm-hmm. He going yeah. gonna to bar you, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. he's going to look out. But yeah, he's gonna be every, riding. He's gonna be riding you to listen, the sideline. The next thing you know, mm-hmm. you out of bounds. He gonna he, he gonna play that ball now. He yeah, had, he, he, he had he had right. elite ball skills. He was elite in, in bump and run. It just 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 everything, pure quality. That 2009 yeah. season was special. That'll never ever be replicated or duplicated. And let's go to the other side. Jalen Hurts. I'm a firm yeah. believer. Now I've been telling y'all they turning the ball. But Shannon, oh, they winning. You a mm-hmm. hater. I say, remember, Ocho, what's my favorite saying? You never yeah. accept anything in a win, you wouldn't have lost. Okay. Lost, yes, if you if you didn't have problems when they was winning, you shouldn't have mm-hmm. problems with the turnovers right now. But you right. do. And when I was trying to explain to you, there are things that I see in Jalen Hurts. He's yes, turning sir. the ball over more than we've ever seen. But mm-hmm. we're winning. We're this and that. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to hear mm-hmm. what I got to say. But guess right. what? I bet I got your undivided attention now, don't I? I got your Philly fans. I got your full mm-hmm. and undivided mm-hmm. attention. I bet I do not, don't I? Oh, what you know? <laughs> Loud mouth, what you know? Mm-hmm. I know more than you think. I don't know everything. Mm-hmm. I know a little bit about everything, though. And I know there are yeah. certain things. And what I try to do is that I point mm-hmm. things out. So when it happens, that you're not surprised. You're not surprised by it. Jalen Hurst was turning the ball. Now, I'm not saying that he's not injured. But he doesn't mm-hmm. look the same to me. And he had yeah. looked the same since he mm-hmm. injured that leg. But the mm-hmm. ball, he's turning it over, interceptions. He's fumbling the football. That's increased. Mm-hmm. Now, when that increases, your probability of winning decreases. decreases. Now, the, on the other side, your defense isn't what they were last year. They're not mm-hmm. attacking the quarterback like they once did. They're not turning teams over like they could last year. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, when the turnovers was down, you guys was taking the ball away and sacking the mm-hmm. quarterback. Mm-hmm. That's what you got. You got a team that looked was very impressive from mm-hmm. start to finish. Got all the way to the Super Bowl, and within a couple of minutes of winning mm-hmm. the Super Bowl, yeah. now basically the same team. Now you could say, "Oh, we got this guy." No, no, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not. Your mm-hmm. turnovers aren't the same. And I'm and and each year, that's why you have so. That's why it's so hard to repeat. That's why yeah. they've been so few a uh, repeat Super Bowl winners, and mm-hmm. even teams. That lose the Super Bowl to get back. That's why it's so impressive what Buffalo did. Buffalo yeah. got back four times, four consecutive yeah. times. But three, three or four. It was four, four, right? Four. Yeah, it was four. Yes. Yeah. 91, 90, 91, 92, 93. Mm-hmm. And lost all four. And lost all four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that, and, you will never see that again. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But you know, Jalen, Jalen was 17 for 31, 143, obviously two turnovers. And with the with the back end of the defense playing as bad as it is and not being able to take away the ball as much as they should. You can't turn it and over. All, and listen, that too, and the offense not clicking on all cylinders like they should. Listen, the Philly we used to seeing scoring 21, 28, sometimes 30, but they're not putting up the points like that. And then de- when the defense ain't taking the ball away from you, those positions that you do have an offense you gotta matter maximize them. that much more. You, you got to maximize them. You, yeah. you got to maximize them. So when now, you if the if your defense isn't taking mm-hmm. it away, what can't you do on offense? You can't give it away. No, you can't. You can't. And so that's that's the problem to have. Hey, I want y'all to know I hit that parlay. Y'all been killing me. I want y'all to jump in this chat right now and say, uh-huh. hey, hey, um, I appreciate that good looking out. Because I hit that parlay. Swift Wait, got who? them yard. Huh? Oh, okay. You hit the parlay. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Draft King. Hit the yardage. Okay. How do we hit it? What do we... Oh, they got I got three and a half. I didn't really need it because they won. What else mm-hmm. did what else did we get? We hit the parlay by uh Swift, Russian, uh uh uh, uh Walker, mm-hmm. Russian. Hey, Kenny, hey, Kenny Walk, Kenny Walker was cutting. Yeah, yeah, I want y'all talking about now. He was 1919 for 86 in the T D. Jump it up, jump in the chat now. And say, oh, I appreciate that good looking out. I put ten dollars down and got me two seventy two. Got four twenty five or something. Mm. Break your boy off something. Show me that you appreciate this knowledge I gave y'all and turn that turn that I, little ten dollars into something nice. You, you know, you know, it's good right though. Around the corner. Yeah, you know, it's good. You know, it's good for the Philly fans. 
What's up? Or for the for the Eagles team in general, their remaining schedule. I think they're gonna be all right. Their remaining schedule is the Giants, the Giants, the Cardinals. Who, the Giants, they got the Giants. Do they got the Giants twice, or they got the Giants Commanders? I think they got the Giants Cardinals Commanders. Oh yeah, Giants Cardinals Commanders. Is is that right? Or is it the Commanders? I thought they played the Commanders. They didn't play the Commanders twice already. Or am I tripping? I don't, I don't know. Either, either way, Giants I mean, Cardinals those... Giants Giants oh, Cardinals Giants. Right. They got so, the Giants right. twice. Giants Cardinals Giants. Well, well, there you go. You definitely, you definitely can go into the playoffs with some what? momentum. And being able to fix those issues with the three with the, the three teams you got to play next. Well, two. Two but teams you got to play next. But let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. What you what you think those teams playing the Eagles thinking? Hey, we can get us a win to close out the season. We might not be going nowhere, but right. misery loves company. Right. All yeah. I know is that when I wasn't going to make the playoffs on Choke, yeah. I'm trying to knock you your ass out. I'm knock your ass out, yeah. Exactly. Right, right, right. But I'm going to be done on Monday. Guess what? Who else, guess who else going to get a healthy trash bag? Yeah. You. Because mm-hmm. you're going to be cleaning out your SHIT too. Yeah. I, hey, you, I ain't going to be the only one going home. Listen, they're they not going to fold that bad now. They're not going to fold that bad. Right now, they, uh, they, they fall to the fifth seed right now. Uh, and then right. they they will be in the playoffs. They're not gonna fall that bad. But again, mistakes that need to be corrected. These next two games, I'm gonna just say two because they play the Giants twice. You're playing teams for those mistakes can be corrected, and you're gonna have to. And that that back that that back end, they got to be able to do something. And it all starts with that front end. That front mm-hmm. end got to pick up the slack. The front end got to pick up the slack to make it easier for the back end. Yeah, because I mean, if, if the you front look- end don't if, if the front end don't if the front end don't get there, the back end don't, gonna keep getting exposed. Right. Every time. And- Bro, you do realize they got beat by Drew Locke. You don't like Drew Locke? But Drew Locke, Drew Locke was in Denver slanging that thing, man. I know. I know what you're going to say. All right. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm talking, sorry. About, I'm talking about from Philly's standpoint. I mean, right. hey, he made some throw On that last drive, he was sensational. Yeah. On the last drive. The, oh, he did, got a big did, arm. Did, did, did you see the ball placement? Yes. On that throw to the JSN? Yes. And well, the one to the, DK. Yeah, he had to get man, he listen. had to get that up and down before the safety got over. But it wasn't nobody gonna catch that ball except the the football the, the person it was thrown to or Moses. Yeah, that's it. DK had an unbelievable game. Uh, Sir Big Snow said, "Uh, Ocho Debo said Bradbury was trash. He did, but you know oh, that's Ocho. right. That was them Ocho. going at it, huh? Yeah, but you but you know Ocho. Like when yeah. one player says that, I try to right. take that with a grain of salt. Because right, I know right, right. Hey, a lot of it's gamemanship, and sometimes, but sometimes a player will tell you how he really feels about he another feels. player. Yeah, I don't. But, I but know you know. I don't think they like each other. That, that, no, that, that's very seldom. That's very seldom yeah. that happens. But you know, Ocho, I mm-hmm. don't let that. I don't let what one player says about another player. I right. don't let that sway me on what I think about that player. Right. right I'm right. gonna watch him, and I'm gonna critique based on what I see and my intimate right. knowledge of the game. Now, mm-hmm. if somebody says he's trash, I mean, I don't really like to say that, but I'm like, you know, I'm saying to myself, yeah, he he ain't very good. Uh, mm-hmm. He might not be trash, but he he mm-hmm. he, he pretty close. Yeah. Uh, he recyclable. Yeah. He's trash. He's going. <laughs> he 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 recyclable. Right. Uh, Clifton Gordon said, uh, "Unk Bradbury is definitely overrated. Can't stand him anymore. Uh, however much blame should go to the OC Brian Johnson with the horrible play call with the first seven minutes of the fourth quarter, and plus." I don't know why Russ had to take mm-hmm. that chance uh, on that first interception. He didn't need yeah. to take that chance. Mm-hmm. That guy was covered. Yeah, that's not a, that's not AJ Brown. You don't give your third. I understand that there was a situation. I think they played somebody. Uh, who was that? They played somebody, and the third receiver made a play for. Him. But yeah, more a big time, play. Yeah, you you big you play. know Zacchaeus. You yeah. know exactly what I'm talking about. Zacchaeus made a play for him. Mm-hmm. But more times than not, you give your number one receiver, AJ, that opportunity, or maybe yeah. a Devontae Smith. But the third and fourth receiver, you're going to give them mm-hmm. that opportunity? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I, I Look, I trust them, but there's a reason why you they, they, they traded what they right. traded and they paid AJ Brown. There's a reason why you drafted uh, uh, Devontae with the, mm-hmm. with, in the top 10 of the draft. There's a mm-hmm. reason why. Yeah. I just don't understand why he took that chance. Um, did they? And plus, that last throw, did they have any timeouts? 
because they got a kicker that remember uh, 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 Ocho. They had, they had two left, if I'm not mistaken. The deep ball, the deep ball yeah. they got intercepted why would he, by Why Lawrence. would he do that? Because he got a kicker that can kick it sixty yeah, yards. I, in a, it, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I was thinking, I was thinking about that because they had timeouts left. Maybe a dig, some short. The middle get of the field, it, is down, going, I, middle of the field. You don't have to worry timeouts. about the sidelines. You can throw the ball to the middle of the field because you have you timeouts. Timeout. You had two at that. I mean, it's only you, thirteen seconds. You, 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 you had one play and a timeout. That's it. Yes. All I need. Hey, all you need probably you probably needed about 10, 15 yards. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get up there, call my timeout. I got one, two right. seconds. Let me see if my mm -hmm. field goal can, my field goal kicker can get me in the overtime. We right. watched him kick a 60, a 61 yard or 59 mm -hmm. yard just a week ago. Yeah, he got a big leg. He got a big leg. Yeah. So uh TJ Ellsworth asked, Unc, Uncle Shay Shay, do you believe on both Hertz interception there was PI? And if so, does that stand as an interception when that's an obvious penalty? I don't. I don't think it was a PI. I don't. I think it was a poor, I think both of them were poor decisions. I think the ball was thrown poorly. That's just me. I mean, maybe you saw P.I., but I didn't know, Joe. Yeah, and I mean, it, that, that's tough. And with the way the refs are, are, are making the calls now, where they're calling every goddamn thing, they throw yeah. the goddamn, they throw, they throwing flags like like yellow handkerchiefs right now. <laughs> you know, they're they calling everything. And that's that's what I don't like is that the fact that the, the, the focal point is now on holding and, and roughing the passers and and – and offsides, uh, and offsides, <laughs> it's what it's watering down the flow of the game. It's watering down the flow of the game, where they just call they just nitpicking. So if you want to nitpick, obviously, depending on if if you run a hundred plays, honestly, you can call it. You can call some type of penalty on every single play, every, every right. time, every time. Right. And I, I hope the game doesn't come to that where they nitpick on every single play and it just disrupts the flow of a game. But that's 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 the route we going. Friendly neighborhood kid said, as a Hawks as a Hawks fan, we came out with the win. But I think we still need to move on from Pete. What do you guys think? I, I don't think Pete's going anywhere. Um, yeah. I think they hitched their wagon to Pete for the most part. You mm -hmm. see all the Legion of Boom, with the exception they brought Bobby Wagner back, but with the exception of B Wag, the Legion of Boom is no more. Russell is out of there. So now mm -hmm. Seattle is basically mm -hmm. known for Pete Carroll. Mm -hmm. And so I, I I think uh the Allen, uh Paul Allen's sister who owns the who runs the uh, who owns it, and John Schneider and those guys, mm -hmm. I think I think they're Pete's not I don't believe Pete's going anywhere. That's just no. me personally. I mean what, you, what why do do you think what why 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 would he leave? No. I, I, leave? I think he's saying he thinks they should move on from Pete. And my question is, what do you think you're gonna get better than Pete? That too. Yeah. <laughs> that, that 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 too. That and that's the thing. Uh, I I missed one. Uh, Jose Castro Rios. Did tonight show the weakness in the second day of the Eagles? What you mean tonight? What have you been for four <laughs> months? I've been telling y'all this, but y'all don't think I know what I'm talking about. So you know what, Ocho? Mm -hmm. What used to irk me, uh, especially when I was on CBS. Is yeah. that people don't think if you didn't play the quarterback position, they don't think you know anything about football. Mm -hmm. Only the quarterback studied film. Only the right. quarterback practiced. Only the mm -hmm. quarterback knew all. Uh, what, mm -hmm. what the hell you thought I was doing? You thought I just went to get you know, I, I went to get candy bars. I was just, I mean, right. what, what the hell you think I was doing there? I watched tape. I studied the game. I mean, yep. people that that played with me and my coaches, they would tell mm -hmm. you that I'm a student of the game. I yeah. understand yeah. the game. Yeah, you had to. I be. mean, I try. I to try be. to keep it as simple as I possibly can. I mm -hmm. don't like to get into the intricacies of it. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. a, a nine technique, a wide nine, mm -hmm. a shield, yeah, yeah, a shade, yeah. Yeah. a seven eye, five, a three, <laughs> a tilt. Now, you know, what yeah. I'm saying I'm getting all that. You know, you That's start talking much. about okay, yeah, they ain't, they ain't cover six, six kicks, cover four. Okay, they're seven, mm -hmm. they're in cloud. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. Come on, man, y'all not gonna understand that. Basically, what y'all yeah. understand is, is is cover two, right? Shell high. Look at the two safety. Or mm -hmm. single high safety, safety mm -hmm. in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. All that, you know, rob alert. Come mm -hmm. on. That, banjo, that, that, you know, I see a single. Yeah. Okay. You know what that means? That's a banjo. That means we're yeah. bracketing somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or we passing it off, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Passing but, it off. Hey, he <laughs> hey, if he if he comes in there, you got him. If That's he comes back, him. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. But Listen, that I, hey, that, that that shit get exotic now. That shit get exotic <laughs> and complicated. That shit yes. Get exotic. 
how and I'm, but I'm, but, and this but is Ocho, the funny you, thing. This, this, what I, this is what I like about defense too. Okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I, want to finish, I want you to finish. No, I said, I said, this is what I, what I like about personnel. And the better your personnel, the more skilled players that you do have, the more exotic and the more yeah. and the deeper your playbook good defensively. Listen, yeah. some of that stuff the Ravens used to want to run in the 2000s, some of the stuff the Steelers used to run in the 2000s, only they could run that stuff based on the personnel they had. Right. Listen, I saw a defense one time the the with with, with Palomalu and I can't remember and, and, and Ryan Clark. Mm-hmm. Before the snap of the ball, Unc, I, I tell you no lie. I tell you no lie. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Everybody was at the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. Before the snap of the ball. Before the snap of the ball, everybody was at the line of scrimmage. And it was some type of exotic bluff. Mm-hmm. Right before the ball snapped, everybody shot up out of there so fast to get to wherever their responsibilities were. I'm like, who in the, in the hell? Mm-hmm. Man, I ain't, I ain't never seen nothing like that. You talk about and the thing is, but, but, but the thing is, Ocho, that, but here's the thing. Whether you're offense or defense, when you go on the road, you can be less creative because right. now the communication is a lot harder. Mm-hmm. And so when yeah, we went on here. the road, we only had a handful of plays. We either know we run in, we run in handoff right. week or we run in toss week. And that, I mean, we ain't got all this plays. We go check right. to this and check to that. Right. And everybody's like, huh? Well, I thought it was this. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. handoff week, right. handoff strong. I mean, handoff week, toss strong. That's what we running. Right. You know, with, with you guys, with you guys, you always ran that stretch play too. Yes. That, that stretch yes. play, like, yes. uh, like, like the goddamn coach. Like they always used yes. to do with uh, yes. James and Joe yes. and Dye. Yes, y'all, y'all love that yes. damn play. And hey, listen, TD, a hold it, he a hold it, he a hold it, and and bend that bitch right on back every I time. I had one rec- him and, a lot of a lot of times. Him and poor artist. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But if you notice, look at all the guys we had. Yeah, him and we had Portis, rookie of the year, mm-hmm. fifteen hundred yards mm-hmm. back to back season. Mike yeah. Anderson, rookie of the year, fifteen hundred oh, yards. Mike, as a that's rookie. right, that's right. Yeah, Ru- all them guys leave. Ruben Drones, who was the fullback, mm-hmm. they put him at eye back. He goes for twelve fifty, get paid. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. TD gets hurt in ninety nine. They put mm-hmm. a Landis Gary in there. We call him Bird. Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. we call him. They said, "Man, why you call him Bird?" I said, "That joke is so pigeon toed. I don't know where to throw <laughs> Bird seed or say what's up, bro." I mean, hey, but Bird be housing that thing. Yeah. And so, but TD, all TD had to know. Mm-hmm. And Mike, I had one responsibility. When mm-hmm. TD cut back, he yeah. had to know that defensive end wasn't gonna put his helmet in his hip. Right. That was my sole responsibility. That's not yeah. gonna happen on my watch. Now yeah. he, he would ask me, he, "Hey, he uh, uh eighty four, what you got backside?" I say, "Hold up, TD, stick, keep your front side. No, don't, don't right, come back. Right, 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 right. Come back here right now. Bad thing is gonna happen. Give me an opportunity. <laughs> Give me a bad thing gonna happen to you. To hey, let uh, let uh, let let you wear him down a little bit. Yeah, let you wear yeah, him down yeah. a little bit. I say, I got to cut him a few more times. Let right, me right. cut him a few more times. You know, yeah. hey, had him like cockroach, feet up in the air, <laughs> hey." TD, come see your boy. Hey, hey, and now all of a sudden, he hit that thing. Yeah. He out yeah. the gate. But, mm-hmm. you know, I had to soften him up. I had to soften him up, though. Don't, yeah. hey, the first two quarters, keep it front uh-huh. side of the house. Keep oh, it yeah. the strong side. Don't come back here weak side. <laughs> I like Michael that. called out Cowboys haters. What I don't understand is everybody just waits for the Cowboys to lose. I saw mm-hmm. multiple analysts, people who are fake analysts, who somehow got jobs on TV saying, there goes your boy. <laughs> It's almost to the point where it's like almost sick. Some of these people are, are like mentally sick. They're waiting for <laughs> former players or former players are waiting for current players to fail so that they can say, have something to talk about. Mm-hmm. I don't th- I don't think I don't think Micah really understands who he's playing for yet. I don't think he understands. Yeah, he does cuz he talked. I, I, I don't remember think he, he you remember you remember at the beginning of the year he talked about historical defense? He yeah. said that. He yeah. said they got a historical defense. Now, yeah. this is what I don't know. This is what I don't uh, I never mm-hmm. heard Michael Parsons because I was one of the first ones that ran out. I said, this is the best player in the draft. Even yeah. though he did not play his senior year, based on what I had seen him play his junior year and based mm-hmm. on what I saw at the combine, right. it fit. You can see yeah. the way he timed, the way he oh, jumped, yeah. he's explosive. Mm-hmm. He's sudden. Oh, yeah. So whatever you saw on tape, he confirmed mm-hmm. it at the combine. Yeah, I ain't hear him say one time these so called mm-hmm. fake analysts saying I'm gonna be great. I didn't hear right. him say not one time these analysts say I should be rookie of the year. He mm-hmm. never said mm-hmm. he never said anything when they said it's bad. LT, he's the closest thing I've seen to LT. Mm-hmm. What's what I don't get? 
Why don't you say it's too much praise when guys are heaping that praise on you? When you wreck and mm -hmm. shop, he mm -hmm. never says them former players waiting mm -hmm. on me. They talk, hey, 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 Shannon, man, that's too much, man. Don't be saying I'm going to be this good. Don't say I'm going to be real rookie of the year. Don't say I'm going to win rookie of the year and defensive mm -hmm. player of the year. Come on, mm -hmm. man, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. Why you Why you root? Oh, he don't mind when they root for him. Yeah. Even though I don't believe players are rooting against him, mm -hmm. but he don't mind when they're cheering him on. It's just right. that when you go out there and you didn't have the type of game and they found ways, and we saw mm -hmm. this 49ers giving you a great blueprint, mm -hmm. make him use his eyes. Ma yeah. Hey, make instead of making him swim, make him mm -hmm. catch. Put mm -hmm. that tight end on him mm -hmm. and says, okay, stand up in here now. And yeah. we don't want you to stand because you said you, mm -hmm. you wanted to play with your hand in the dirt. Mm-hmm. And the Buffalo Bills say, put them tight ends on him. They mm -hmm. put them big guys on him. And all yeah. of a sudden, he didn't have the same type of game. Bro, mm -hmm. do you? I can imagine Reggie White, LT, DT, and all the greats complaining. And he talk about the media. What the hell you think you in? Mm -hmm. Where did you say this at? On your show? On your podcast? Yeah. Do mm -hmm. you realize you're part of the media also? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think. I think he has to understand what comes with playing for the Dallas Cowboys. I still don't think he understands. I still don't think he understands that the Dallas Cowboys move the needle. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys, the Los Angeles Lakers, and the New York Yankees, they move the needle. They yes. will always be they will always be talked about, criticized, and analyzed different than any other team. That's just the way it is. It's the lay of the land. It will always right. be that way. But what they got to do. What they got to do, all they have to do in order to shut up the analysts, in order to shut up the haters, the so-called fake analysts that never play the game, is you got to go out there and execute week in and but, week out. Ocho, but that you was the to. problem. It's, remember, it's a, simple, it's, it's a simple fix. Remember, Ocho, that was just saying. He ain't even never played the game. Now mm -hmm. you got guys playing the game. Oh, mm -hmm. now they fake analysts. Now you said at first you had a problem with guys criticizing you or critiquing your game that never mm -hmm. played. Now... Right. All the networks, a lot of most of the networks have guys that played the game mm -hmm. critiquing your game. Now that's a problem. Oh, then you say, well, what have he done? Y'all sure y'all want to ask me that question? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? Now mm -hmm. I know I've been away from the game and a lot of people don't, and I don't really care. I'm going to say what I'm going to say based on yeah. what I see. Now y'all right. know y'all can't BS me now. Y'all need to stop mm -hmm. playing. I'm too big of a cat to be played with like a kitten. Now, I keep telling y'all that. <laughs> so when when your owner's out there running his yap about how historically great this defense is, when mm -hmm. everybody is writing about you in Dallas, talking about this team is so close and this team seems different, you ain't got no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But the moment that y'all, all you got to do is show up against one of the, against the 49ers, all you had to do is show up. Mm -hmm. Against it's the Eagles on the road, all you had to do is show up. All mm -hmm. you had to do was show up against Buffalo and because everybody just waiting. I told you this team feel different. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want y'all to beat. I want y'all to beat somebody. Go on the road and beat somebody. Yeah. You, you, you know. Now that I think about it, let me see. They lost to the Bills, thirty-one ten. Yeah. The remaining the the, the the rest of the gauntlet. I'm gonna call it the gauntlet. The rest the rest of the gauntlet for them. They got beat oh, forty two. Got beat four, They got beat forty two ten by the 49ers. Got beat twenty eight sixteen by the Cardinals mm -hmm. minus yeah. Kyler Murray. Yeah. Hmm. Listen, they got they got the Dolphins, the Lions. And the commanders. Yeah. For them two, them two next ones, that, that 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 tells the whole story. Yeah. That tells the whole story. Them them dolphins, you already know what's happened. Tyreek, Tyreek back next week. Yeah. But but the thing, but here's the thing, Ocho. And what I've been trying to tell people, and people always you know, I say the Cowboys are different. They're deep. This is a defense. Like, I understand that Dak is playing unbelievable MVP yeah. type football. Oh, yeah. But you see what happens when they don't get turnovers. When you mm -hmm. see what happens, how they look when they don't get pick sixes and mm -hmm. scooping scores or put their mm -hmm. offense on the short field, you see right. how they look? Mm -hmm. You tell me that's the same team when they didn't get the turnovers against the 49ers. Or they didn't create turnovers. They didn't create, I think they might have had mm -hmm. one against Arizona. I think they might have had one on the road against Philly. Mm -hmm. They got none against Buffalo. See, they're not losing a field goal game. They're mm -hmm. getting demolished. Demolished, yeah. You know, I think the problem is. And I and I talked to you about this too before. I said, do you really think it's an advantage when you play when you're playing at home as opposed to playing on the road? Yeah. But well, the Cowboys scoring 40 points a game when they playing at home. 
and 21 points a game and, uh, and, uh, and down on the road. So yeah. you, that, that's basically three touchdowns, Ocho. That's three yeah. touchdowns different. That's mm-hmm. not, okay, we scored 28 points on the road. We scored, mm-hmm. I mean, all at home, we scored 24 on, on the road. Mm-hmm. Bro, do you understand that's three touchdowns? Three? Oh, my goodness. That's, that, that, you know, Look I at the won't. takeaways at home. I think they're plus yeah. 10. On oh, the road, yeah. they're minus. Minus, yeah. That's crazy. That team crazy. is predicated on defense getting scooping scores, uh, 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 pick six and short fields. And this is the uh, and this is what we're talking about. But Michael, you have to understand as a preeminent player, mm-hmm. you have to show up in moments like this, bro. Mm-hmm. You take these guys, it doesn't matter. And that's and, and remember, we talked to Coach Prime and Cry, uh, Prime. I want to thank you for coming on last night. Yeah. Everybody say how much they love the episode. Yeah. It's our it's char- it's our highest episode thus far. I think we had a tick, uh, 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 Ocho. We had a tick up mm-hmm. under uh, forty five thousand. I think we had forty four thousand nine hundred and thirty two. Yes, sir. Um, so we had a tick under forty five thousand. So we want to thank uh, uh, Coach Prime for coming on, gracing us with his presence, and yeah. dropping some knowledge on us. But yeah. can you imagine when people say, oh, "Oh, oh, 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 Prime ain't show up. Reggie White ain't show up. Bruce Smith ain't show up. Mm-hmm. Ray Lewis." Them team ran for six hundred. Them team ran for two hundred and forty yards on the Baltimore Ravens defense. Shit. Imagine if Ray, imagine if Raider came out and said, "Hey, man, man, these so called fake analysts and haters, really? Do you understand the company that people have already put you in, and you ain't have no problem with that? You ain't you know, got no, you know, if, if you get if you you shouldn't have a problem with criticism. See, and this is what happens." If you live for T.I. said it, if you live for the applause, you will die mm. by the criticism. Mm. You see? Whoa, 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 you whoa, see? whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Hold I on. think T.I. said that. Hold on. Let me get my pen. Hold on. I'm in, I'm in the hotel. I like that one. I left my notepad. <laughs> I left I left my notepad in Miami, boy. Give me that one again, boy. Yeah. If you live for the praise, you die by the criticism. Yeah, I'm going to use that on real. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Why you use everything on real? Don't use that on huh? real. Because that's the only person I, I I get into it with. So I they, you know I, I got the Hatties in my pocket now. Yeah, that's a good one, boy. Damn, but that's, that's the good thing. One. But Michael needs to understand Mm-mm. because of his level of greatness, <clears throat> there's a greater expectation for Facing. him. Yeah, and because he doesn't get to have an off game, mm-hmm. and not to say that. Look, and, and but you have to understand there's a cycle now. Like when those other greats plays, there was no 24-hour news cycle. Mm-hmm. You had your local reporter and the group of reporters, but now mm-hmm. everything, they can go back to every play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A guy can pull up every play. Somebody can pull it up on their computer and show it. Look at Michael. Michael ain't yeah. working here. Look at this guy put mm-hmm. Michael on his back. Look at this. Look mm-hmm. at that. They didn't have that before. So yeah. I'm not going to sit here and tell you because I know I've break it, broken down all the greats. All the greats have been blocked. All the greats have been pancaked. All mm-hmm. the greats have had games in which they didn't play their best. Right. So, so do you think it's okay? It's okay to say, okay, you know what? The Cowboys can have a game like this. Yeah. As opposed but they've had to too many of them. Have, well, Cowboys ten and what ten? They ten and four. Yeah, but look who they're beating. We we're asking them when you step up in competition and play a bully like you, somebody that can look you in your eye. Mm-hmm. I Man, don't 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 pick on him. Hey, right. you know how the other Ocho with some people cracking jokes. They mm-hmm. don't get mad at the people telling the joke. They get joke. mad at the people that's laughing. Oh, yeah. Like, what, what, oh, yeah. Man, what you laughing at? He told a joke. It was funny. <laughs> that's what I'm laughing at. So the Cowboys, they pick it on the Commanders. They pick it on the Giants. They pick it mm-hmm. on the Jets, the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Okay, here come the 49ers. <laughs> okay, right, right. Oh, like, they come the, Buffalo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the, whoa. Oh, the teams you're gonna see in the playoffs, basically. Yes. Show me. Show me. If y'all what y'all yeah. say y'all are, if if you're tired of people saying that you're not this, all you do, you just repeated. And that's what I said. I'm not look, all I said, I need to see. Right. I need to see. Faith is believing in the unknown. That's the, God said that. God said, if you have faith, I'll show you. Well, I'm a man. I need you to show me to have faith. And I ain't seen it. Mm. You've seen it's, it? Because remember coming. two years ago, remember two years ago when Jack had that great season? Almost oh, yeah. 4,000 yards? 
Yeah. And guess what happened when the 49ers came in there? What did the 49ers do to him? Got whoop, got him, put foots up in him, got him right on up out of there. Yeah. Last year, even though he missed five games, he tied for the league in, in interceptions. Mm-hmm. Interceptions, yeah. Go on the road to the 49ers, what they do? Whoop, put foots in him, got him right on up out of there. What if this day yet, though? What what if this is their year when they get they hit they get that first round of the playoffs mm-hmm. and they get past that first round? We've seen them get past the first round. We haven't seen them get past the second round. They get past that divisional round. Okay. Would have you seen it? Now you do realize they haven't been past that first round. You were probably so how old were you in the uh, um in 95? 95, 95, I was 20, 22. You weren't 22, um, 79, 6, you were 16. So think about that. You were 16. Wait a minute. Let me get my calculator. Hold on. You don't need no calculator. I calculated for you. Okay. <laughs> you were 16. <laughs> and you and you not and you not 32. You're not even 36. So let that sink in for just a second. Yeah. Yeah. That's how long it's been since they've been past the second round. Wait, it's been that long? Yeah. When they won the Super Bowl in Arizona. 95. And they still get the type of yes. media attention and criticism. Yes. And yes, yes, yes. Hey, that, that is truly America's team. You do yes. understand that, right? Yeah. For you have not to have been, for you to not have won in so long. Because their fans are delusional. Because Jerry tells them every year and everybody buys into it. This is their year. It's kind of like, the, it's kind of like, the kid, the, uh, the, uh, the the parent to tell the kid, oh, I'm going to take you tomorrow. And mm-hmm. tomorrow never comes. But you still <laughs> hold out hope that what he said is going to come true. Or that Christmas gift that you were expecting that never came. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember well, my grandmother told me. At the, at, at, okay, go ahead. At the, no, at the beginning ahead. of every season, all 32 teams had that same speech and that same talk from their head coaches. No, nah, but, 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 but their owners are not out there peddling that. See, that nobody else owner is saying that this team reminds me of those Super Bowl teams when you had those seven, eight Hall of Famers on it. What mm-hmm. other owner is saying that? What other owner is telling you who's going to play, who's injured, the injury report? Mm-hmm. What owner? What other owner is doing that? Yeah, but what he's other the owner he... is saying after you beat the commanders that this is the most this is the happiest that I've been. Who are what other owner after you beat a division rival says, you know what? This is the this is the best, this is the best we played. What other owner is doing that? Mm. Him. But Jerry Jones, he's always been front and center, though. He's always been that way. Because he wants it about him. No matter how great Dak plays, when you think of the Cowboys, who you think about, Ocho? Jerry Jones. Jerry, because, because he's always front and center. I think and he likes all that the other owners, not Patrick Mahomes, Clark Hunt says, I, I don't need that. Robert Kraft got six championships since he got his last one. Think about that. Right. He's been nine times. He got six. Damn. And Mr. Kraft's like, hey, uh, Coach Belichick, uh, Tom, y'all, Tommy. He called him Tommy. He called both of them Tommy. Mm-hmm. I mean, Tommy and Billy. That's what he called Coach Belichick, Billy. Mm-hmm. He calls Tom, Tommy. Y'all, y'all get that. I don't need that. See, right. he craves that. And that's why he got Jimmy up out of there. Because he wouldn't get that. He wanted that. Right. Ah, man. So do you, do you think maybe if, if Jerry was to move out the way, maybe that man, Jerry ain't going nowhere. The result- okay. <laughs> the okay, owner's okay. the one guy that can never lose his job. I mean, he can't lose his job. I'm talking about just taking a back seat as far as being the face and the no. voice of the Cowboys. And, and let the players do it. Let you Dak do, re- do it. You do let realize they're the face. Guy- you do realize that they got guys that got way more money than Jerry, and we don't know who the hell they are. If Jerry who, who, were to move, who got who got more money than Jerry? Man, Jerry probably the 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 thirteen hundred or fourteen hundred richest person in the world. There are a lot of oh, people that oh, got oh, more money in the world. I, I was I, I mean I know there is. I'm, I was speaking on. We I thought you meant with the Cowboys. Why. I thought you meant with the the Cowboys no, organization. No. But why not? Because they don't own the Cowboys. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see where you're going. That's like why you that. think those like, rich people like tried that. to get those teams. That's a that's a level that and some um some some rich people don't want that. Some people right. like, hey, I got my 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 billion. And I'm cool. I'm yeah. okay, I'm cool. I don't, I don't, I I love my am- anonymity. I'm mm-hmm. gonna go get on my you know my 300, 400 foot yacht 
Remember mega Ocho? yacht, mega yacht, not just any yacht, mega yacht. Ocho, you know what they say it is? Ain't no crying mm -hmm. on the yacht. <laughs> ain't no crying on the yacht, and ain't no yeah. crying thirty five thousand feet up on the air on the G six. Mm. They cool with that. But right. Jerry, Jerry is so tied to the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's his baby. Yeah, that's his baby. That's our man. That joke right. Hey, ain't so no who telling. who can tell Jerry? How about you know what? I think things will change for us as a team, as an organization. If you kind of took a backseat a little bit, if you didn't be the voice, if you didn't, if you didn't say some of the things that puts a strain on the teams to have on the team to have to go out there and perform by saying things like this is one of the best defenses or this is the Super Bowl contending team. Yeah, I, uh, who, can, who, well, who can talk to him and he can actually Steven listen is, and be like, Steven, you know what, Steven, maybe you. Steven right. is his right hand man. Steven is the guy that that most of the time when you see Jerry sitting up at mm -hmm. at, at, at the podium or the desk, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. Steven next to him. Also, right. now he does have a a a Jerry name is Gerald. He does have a junior, mm -hmm. and he has a daughter, mm -hmm. Charlotte, and I think his wife is named Jean. Mm. So, uh. Probably, probably Stephen. Probably mm. Stephen. I mean, this would be a good time at some point. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm at, after all these years, I'm, I'm not sure how Cowboys fans feel about it, but I think maybe the direction of the team will go where it needs to go if Jerry took a back seat and didn't try to take all the attention and put the onus and the pressure on the players to go out and perform and just allow them to play the game like the other 31 teams do that don't have their owners putting the pressure on them to go out there and succeed. Well, you know, uh, um, Ocho, when I was in Baltimore, Brian Billick did a lot of talking. So he mm -hmm. was essentially writing checks that we had to cash. Yeah. And we had a defense mm -hmm. that could that cash, can cash those it. checks. Or steal it. Either one. Y'all can steal it too. <laughs> <laughs> so now... The thing is, now, if Jerry was talking like he's talking right now in the 90s, mm -hmm. when he yeah. had Playmaker and Emmitt and, Emmitt, and Troy, and, Troy, and he had yeah. all those guys, he had Nate Newton, he had Tua mm -hmm. he had Golden mm -hmm. and Stepnowski yeah. and Big Easy, and then you he had Leon Lett, and you had all those guys, Tobert and Chagley mm -hmm. and, 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 and Darren Woodson and all those yeah. guys. You could do that. Hey, man, you could do that. Could you? Yeah, you could, could do you? that. Could you? But... Everybody said they want to see my shirt. It's all I got for you, I, I give a hundred. I give a hundred that work. Ten percent Monday, thirty. <laughs> Friday, you ain't getting nothing. Friday, you already know. Ain't nothing. It's already the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so five five percent um, Fridays. Forty ninth and King donated fifty bucks, and he asked. Uncle, uh, Uncle Ocho, do you think the Cowboys are better at home because of the speed of the field versus the natural turf outdoor uh, style? No. I think the thing is that when they go on the road, teams run the ball at them. They're a light football team. They're built mm -hmm. on speed. And so right. they're predicated on having a lead. Look at the games they've lost. They ain't had no lead. It's hard to get after the quarterback when you dial 14 and they run the ball down your throat. You can't sack right. the quarterback if he ain't got the ball. Yeah. So that's what teams are doing. Teams are putting them in a deficit. So now you got to sit in there because they're an undersized team. They're all about getting a. Hey, it's like the uh, Floyd. Uh, uh, I think Floyd Peters, famous mm -hmm. says, "Hey, we gonna we gonna stop the run on the way to the quarterback." And so that's how the Cowboys think. Everybody's right. trying to sack the uh, attack the quarterback, mm -hmm. attack the running game on the mm -hmm. way to the quarterback. Well, when you got guys firing off on you. Hey, you remember what D-Law said? Oh, you hit a yeah. mofo in the mouth, you hit him over and again and over, again over, and, and over. again and yeah. again and yeah. again. So when, yeah. a, when a mofo line up and they hit you in your mouth again and again and again mm, and again, yeah. and when mm -hmm. you try to make a pile, they lift your butt up and get you up out of there again yeah. and again and again. Yeah. Then you got 266 yards. Josh Allen threw the ball 15 times yesterday. He completed mm -hmm. five. And, and the conditions like that, what the hell you think they're going to do, Ocho? They got to run. Exactly. You got to run. You ain't got no choice. So you ain't got no choice. I, I don't know what they thought was going to happen. I was, at, at, at that point in time, and we see James Cook, we see mm -hmm. Joe Brady relying a lot more on the run game with James mm -hmm. Cook. Not only running the football, they're throwing the ball to him, allowing mm -hmm. him to get down the field. We see him. We caught that touchdown. And see, yeah. they like to play with those undersized and, and, and a third down and nickel. They like to play with undersized linebackers. 
You remember what Deion Dawkins did to number 33? He walked him down the field about 20 yards, yes, dunked sir. him on his head, and they had to come yeah. get him. Yeah, he was hurt. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a whole that's a whole lot of weight on you. I don't, I don't care how I don't care how big how bad you are, but them three hundred pounds will start leaning on your ass, mm -hmm. and you two twenty, you two thirty, bad things gonna happen on those bad things. Different ball happen. game. Listen, physics is undefeated. Absolutely. Physics is undefeated. Slim from the, Slim from the sticks said, "Ass during live stream is crazy." Oh, Joe, our bad looking man, Slim. Slip, man, man, you know the old poor hustler trying to get paid, man. Ocho and I got miles to see, feed. Oh, yeah, Ocho yeah, got yeah, like yeah. eight, nine miles. I got like Ooh. seven or eight miles to feed, bro. He, Help a poor hustler. 11. You got 11? 11. I got 11. And we're working on, working on one more. 11 in the possible. Oh, well, well, listen, listen, 11 in the possible, and I don't even play spades. Damn. Yeah, man. And them kids expensive now. Huh? Ocho, you remember oh, no. you Oh, Joe, you remember I told you we was having a conversation the other day and we was talking about uh -huh. finance, about people. And uh, somebody asked us, said, uh, what did uh, uh, we, you and I, and our kid's mother argue about and mm -hmm. argue about? Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, mm -hmm. money about private school. And mm -hmm. people say, 15000 Man, there ain't no money. I'm paying that now. You do realize that was 25 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. You do realize that was 25 plus years ago. Right. Again, you do realize that was 25 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. And you do realize I had three kids. So mm. you sure that we're on the same level of playing field? Mm. I, okay. Now you get my point. I hope like when you're talking about this, when you're talking about our kids, all my right. kids are grown. Yeah. My baby's in her last year is about to go to residency. I'm a granddad. So clearly mm. I ain't got no teenagers. I mean, I could theoretically, but I don't. All my kids have graduated undergrad. My daughter, my my youngest daughter went undergrad. She got a master's. Now she's about to get a doctor. Mm. So come on, people. That's live. And I, I'm not saying that to say comparison. Like, I understand that mm. having a child now and you have to work and you have to put the kid in daycare, mm. it's expensive. Mm. That's the number one cause to eat at finances of, of a family is daycare. Yeah. Poor child. Mm -hmm. That's expensive. And you got to have somebody, and you need to have somebody that you trust to watch mm -hmm. your child. And yeah. I get it. And it's not cheap. And that's why, you know, you, you have a couple of kids. Man, mm -hmm. you need to be making damn near half a million dollars to have a couple of kids. Now, Ocho, mm -hmm. it, ain't like, yeah. it ain't like it was when we were growing up. Nah, People had kids like when my mom and my grandma when they were born. That was free mm -hmm. labor. You mm -hmm. had work, they put your ass to work. That's what that was. Yeah. They had a mm -hmm. bunch of kids. You know, my grandma had nine kids. Yeah. And all of them had to hit the fields. Ooh. That's the, man, look here. Ocho, I remember this had to be, how old was I? Seven, this had to be 73, 74. I'm going to say 73, 74. Right, right, right. My, my granddaddy came home. He mm -hmm. said, I want everything big enough to sop syrup to hit that field tomorrow. <laughs> everything. Now, you know you ain't got to be that big to sop syrup. Yeah, you sure don't. Everything so everybody out there. Mr. Joe Tatum, I, I talked about him a lot because he would come by and pick us up. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at the time now, he he met the older kids. I was the youngest right. by three years. Mm -hmm. I'm three years younger than my brother. My sister is eight years older than me. Now, I got an aunt that's nine years older than me. And then I got a couple of them that was 11, 12, 13 years old. Right, right. He's hey. And so when Mr. Joe pulls up, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the porch. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm five or six years of age. He said, uh, Barty, what about that little fella? She said, Joe, he, he pretty little. He said, uh, Barty, we can find something for him to do. I'm like, what the hell yeah. you mean? You find something for me to do? <laughs> I'm like, what the what? Yeah. Guess what? Walk behind the tobacco picker. I had to yeah. pick the lead that hit the ground. Right. I, had to, I had to pick him up and take pick him to him the up. guy. Yeah. And then, now, we I had to carry a row. Now, the row probably was about 200 yards long. Uh -huh. I carry a row by myself. Saying, look, now, people in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, I don't know the other states, or maybe Alabama, Mississippi. Right. But the first picking is called sand lugging. That means mm -hmm. the leaves are closest to the ground and they're on the sand. Right. So right. that's called sand lugging. Mm -hmm. Backbreaking work. But you know, you young. Mm -hmm. Hey, you man, know. I'm it's five, fun. seven, eight. Fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm out there with my cousins. Hey, I'm trying to win. I bet I could beat y'all. I'm trying to, mm -hmm. I'm racing the big kids. Trying, mm -hmm. I'm trying to win. 
Right. But the key to what he did, uh, Ocho, Mr. Mr. Joe, what he would do, we uh, uh, we would get up and the the truck was back there, so we didn't have to pull the truck up. And right. the older kids, they had done got smart. That means they had to run back to get the truck, and they didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. He's like, Pee Wee Sundown, why don't y'all go get the truck? We five. Landy is two years older than me. We five. Mm-hmm. We five and seven, six and eight. He letting us Took drive. Off. Took off. Yeah, we letting us drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm about like this old show. I can barely see on the steel. Wait, boy you, 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 can re- you can reach the gas though? You can reach the pedal? That's what I'm saying. I'm up here like this here. Oh, you standing. Yeah, I'm yeah, barely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm barely. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Barely. But right. the fact that he trusts enough to drive mm-hmm. the truck in the field. Yeah. So that's where I, that's where we learn how to drive. Drive the tractors, drive all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But man, hold on. Retired senior chief uh US Navy said, Man, I'm gonna tell y'all, I would pay for Bishop Gorman. I would pay look, man, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I would pay for Bishop Gorman here in Vegas. Would to go to school? He wants to go to school Wait. there. Bishop Gorman? For his kids to go there. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh, that's in Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Randall Cunningham kids. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I would pay. Shh, man, please. If it was left up to me, mm-hmm. I ain't paying for no school, man. I ain't paying for no no. Uh, uh, unless now it's just like where the the area that we live. Cause you know, Ocho, right. back in the day, uh-huh. you yeah. could you had to go into school. To the district where you went, you couldn't oh, go yeah. across town if you live. Oh no, no, it's right. a, yeah, same like it was the same thing in Miami. It was the yeah. same thing like that in Miami. It's based on address, based yes. on your address. It tell you yes. what you supposed to go to. Yes. I, I, obviously, I grew up in Liberty City. This is, and it, it for me, I was upset. It all worked out for me on the back end. At the end, right. my, my past was a little different. I lived in Liberty City. I grew up in the forties. Miami Northwestern is on Seventy First Street. Miami Jackson Senior High is on Thirty Sixth Street. I'm supposed to be at Jackson, and but Miami Northwestern was close enough for me to actually go there as well. My grandma, counselor and teacher at Nautilus Middle School on, on Miami Beach. It's time for high school. I'm hype. I'm thinking I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to go to school with my homeboy right here in the hood. Either I'm going to go to the West or I'm going to go to Jackson. It's time to go to high school. This woman, baby, I know you want to go to school with your fellas and your boys, but I got to keep an eye on you. And I really can't see you all the way from Miami Beach over here. So I'm going to make you go over here to Miami Beach Senior High right down the street from me just in case there's an emergency. Ain't no emergency. Ain't no emergency. I want to go, I wanna go, I wanna go play football with my dogs. I want to play football right. with my homeboys. But then in hindsight, on the back end, instead of getting lost in the wash of talent, playing against them was that much better. Right. So, I mean, it, it hurt my feelings not to be able to play play with my with, with my with people I grew up with, but right. playing against them, man, that was one of the yeah. greatest feelings. Man, high school was a, a dope experience. And I you wish know, I could experience it again. And now, Ocho, uh, high school they give out scholarships because a lot of these high schools that uh-huh. you know you uh, uh 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 it costs money to go there. Man, I was my, first of all, we ain't got no money wait, to go. It costs my- cost money. To, wait, cost money to go high school? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, you talking about like IMG or something? No, I, well, I'm talking about like these, uh, like Valor, like in Colorado, Valor. That's right. where um the McCaffrey brothers went. Right. Oh right, yeah, right. that that's probably twenty five thousand, twenty five thousand a year. Whoa, come on, come on, now, come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Twenty five thousand a year. IMG Academy is like sixty thousand a year. Wait, but but oh, scholarships take care. Yes. Of the funding. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, okay, yes. Okay. Yes. Because yes. my next question was like, well, where the hell they get their goddamn money from? Yeah, okay. but, but but a lot of parents, a lot of people play to get their kids in there. Because the IG, Ooh, IMG Academy, woo. you know, they got tennis. That's a uh, rest your soul, Nick Boletari. I met him mm-hmm. a couple of times, and he uh he uh, uh wanted me to come down there. Uh, right. uh, this Bishop Gorman, Cunningham, DeMarco Murray, DTR, Ronnie Staley, Brevin Jordan, all went to that high school. Okay, okay. Well, they got some dogs came out of there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, uh, you know, o- Ocho, a lot of times, um, and I I don't have a problem with that. Sometimes uh, uh, people will remove their kids to duck mm-hmm. competition. I mean, I had a neighbor that he yeah. said that he was moving because he mm-hmm. wanted to move to a smaller town to give right. his kid a better opportunity to play. He said because being in Atlanta, the competition mm-hmm. is too great. Very high. That's a good thing, though. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. I ain't you ducking no competition. Yeah, you want. I ain't you ducking want, no competition. Yeah, 
You got I'm, in, in, I'm, that, that's the era we in that too, man. <laughs> the, man fact no. that, the, the fact that Ain't we no. have participation trophies, yeah, and we and we praising mediocrity. Yeah, Ugh, it's gonna be and, tough. And all that, all that reclassifying and holding your kid back so he can be a year older. Nah, uh, uh, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. no, let me go, man. Let me go. <laughs> what it, what is meant to be gonna be? Be, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. And playing against better competition, at some point, you have no choice but to get better. But to get better, yeah, no choice but to get better. That's what helped me, Ocho. Can't think about it. Mm -hmm. I'm playing against my brother, three years older mm -hmm. than me. My cousin, two mm -hmm. years older than me. Yeah, most of them like Arnell. Was eight was seven years older than me. Eugene six mm -hmm. years older. Robbie was uh, eight years older, seven years older. Bernard mm -hmm. was uh, four years older. So I ain't mm -hmm. had no choice. Right. I'm the youngest right. one. Mm -hmm. And them jokers call it. You know, I'm saying I'm the last one picked. You know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to play basketball. Oh, travel. Oh, he walked. I'm like, mm -hmm. God, bro, y'all do realize, man, I'm the youngest one out here. Ain't cut right. no slack at all. Hey, hey, man, them jokers tackling me, throwing me down. Hey, but that's okay. But right. when I got to school with kids my age, yeah, they got no chance. No chance At of tackling all. me. No chance mm -hmm. of beat me in basketball. Right. Right? None of that. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to happen. Ocho, I, I know like you that. saw this. Demonte Kazi was suspended. The NFL brought the hammer down on Pittsburgh Steelers safety. Demonte Kazi, after his helmet, helmet hit on Michael Pittman Jr. in Steelers, 30-13 to loss on the road in Week 15. The league announced it's suspending Kazi for the rest of the 2023 season and possibly impossible playoff game should the uh the seven and seven Steelers reach the postseason. I saw the hit. What are you supposed to do? <sighs> what, what, what are you supposed to do? Especially with that throw. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed <laughs> to do as a defender? We I, I talked to you when Kareem Jackson got suspended for a second time. Yeah. What are you supposed to do as a defender? I talked to you about the NFL <laughs> and the competition committee, obviously wanting to protect the players, but also handicapping the game and it becoming watered down. Right. What are you supposed to do in that situation outside of play two-hand touch? What do you do? I guess the NFL said, nah, we don't want you to hit him in that situation. Because if you hit him, we're going we gonna to drop the ham on you. That's so what what's going to happen? What's going to happen when all the defensive players come together? What's going to happen when all the defensive players come together and every time someone is in a vulnerable position where they can get a flag, they actually just tap the player. Just tap the player. Like just two-hand touch on purpose. Just two-hand two hand touch, it on, touch them on purpose. I, I, that's, I what, that's what you might as well do. That's what it's going to come to. Yeah. Ocho, I think the thing is, because the NFL says, look, if if there was ever such a thing as a vulnerable position, mm -hmm. he was in it. But I'm like, yeah, bro. That was tough. That was the throw, too, now. That yeah, was the throw. Oh, oh, the, court, the quarterback hung him out to dry. Yeah. And, you know, I understand the quarterback in, in our nature is that I'm mm -hmm. trying to catch everything, Ocho. I ain't going to lie. Even yep. though I know I'm going to get, the, I'm gonna he, get yeah. leveled. Every time, but I want the I always want the quarterback to believe that mm -hmm. he can throw it to me, and good things mm -hmm. are going to happen. Yeah. And either I'm going to come down with it, or it's going to hit the turf. But I'm not going to let it get intercepted. No, but that that's a tough, and I feel I feel bad for Kazee because it's not like the guy's making, you know, ain't like he made thirty million, forty million dollars, right? And right. Before, I mean, you know, ain't, it's not like he got another six, seven years in the NFL, Ojo mm -hmm. either. And right. So you taking. You know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars paycheck from this man, maybe more. Yeah, Come yeah, on, man, it's crazy. Ocho, what do you do? A piece of parlor cancels Tommy DeVito's appearance after double after double uh, appearance mm -hmm. price. Tommy DeVito had a bad had a bad day on Sunday, uh, on and off the field. A piece mm -hmm. of place in Marstown, New Jersey, hired DeVito for a meet and greet. Took right. the inst Instagram to explain mm -hmm. the abrupt cancellation. Yeah, Tommy, De Tommy DeVito will not be here this Tuesday as originally mm -hmm. planned. After last week's win, we received word from his agent that the appearance fee would be doubling. It went from ten thousand to twenty thousand. That's we're right. Small, we're we're a small family run business and decided mm -hmm. that twenty thousand was a little too steep for mm -hmm. two hours. The post came after the Giants lost twenty four to six to the Saints. To mm -hmm. the uh, Saints, excuse me. The restaurant added, "Sorry about the loss today, Giants fan." But we're on a we're but we're Italian and we don't like when someone says one thing and does another. 
Mm. Listen, Tommy DeVito is the quarterback for the New York football Giants. Giants. Yes. Football Giants. He is the face now of that franchise right now. Mm-hmm. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Uh, now, oh. if he was still the backup, then that ten thousand dollars, that ten thousand uh, dollar appearance fee, I understand. Ocho, I get, I get it. But they had a deal. They they screenshotted text communication that said he had agreed to ten thousand. Was there that? Was there was there a document? Were there was there a signed contract, a signed document? Ocho, that's that's what I'm telling you. There was text conversation that says, "Okay, we'll do it for ten thousand. Oh, you just said text conversation. That ain't gonna yes. work in court. That ain't gonna work in court. Actually, it will. We need we need, we need documentation. Actually, no, it, that is documentation. Ocho, if, if I tell you what, Ocho, I tell you what you do. Tell me you go. Tell me you gonna tell me you gonna give me a hundred thousand dollars if right. this show takes off. And then all of a sudden the show takes off and I don't give it to you. And I got tech, we got text conversation that right. will absolutely hold up in court. I don't know. All I can say for Tommy DeVito <laughs> is he is the he is he is Tommy DeVito is the quarterback for the New York football giants. And yesterday's price is not today's price. So I have a, a better understanding of what he's doing and why he's doing it, because the value has increased because you are now the starter. Ocho, if you give some, Ocho, I, I get know, it. I know Ocho, what you're saying, though. I, I know what you're saying. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Ocho. Mm-hmm. What an appearance fee for Shannon Sharp in 2023 is mm-hmm. different than it was in 2024. Mm-hmm. But if I had agreed to, a, and, and the price in 2024 is going to be mm-hmm. a difference in, 2020, in 2023. Right. I've agreed to some appearances mm-hmm. in 2024, but I signed them, I agreed to them in 2023. Mm-hmm. Mm. I See, gave them people. It, I gave them people my word. I said, "Okay, be... I'll, 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 I will do it for that right. for that number." Now See? think about it. Think about now. We got this was before nightcap. Mm. This was before I had the ESPN deal. This was mm-hmm. before I was voted complex be, uh, uh, personality number one. Number people, one. I, I gave them people my word. I would do it right. for that. Mm-hmm. Now I could, man. Hey, man, look at all of what I don't got now. So the price, yeah. nah, it, it goes so, up. Your value, your value has increased, and that's yeah. okay. Now that's when okay. I get somebody, my word is everything. If you ain't got your word, you ain't got nothing, Ocho. Oh, your word. Oh, wait a minute, because now now I got you in the pickle. Because if your word is everything, I would have been on first take by now. I told you once I get in good, I ain't in good. It's been goddamn seven months. Ocho, you do realize I'm, I'm on a day. I got days. I ain't got no year contract. I got days. Okay, we're gonna work on we're gonna work, we're gonna work on a full we're gonna work on a full time contract. We're gonna work on that. Okay. But let me know. Matter of fact, matter of fact, if the bosses, if the bosses come to you or Stephen A come to you about doing full time, make sure we a package deal. Package, yeah. what kind of package? Like yeah, a package a, shop? A package. Nah, it ain't Laporte, no pay, no, Laporte no, and no, cigars? No, because yeah, yeah, because if you if you going, well, if 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 you hiring me, you got to bring Ocho with you. Uh, you know Ocho, you know I was gonna be a what you call him because what? you do know. Have you ever heard of a thing of a verbal contract? They're right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't need to. Hold on, I'm in my room. Everything doesn't need to be on this. Hmm. Hmm. You think them text messages are really hold up in the court of law? Hell not yeah! It, not not saying it's going to that magnitude, but you think that that'll really hold up? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you know how many businesses have been split on a verbal contract, right? Or or text email? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, oh, Joe. okay, 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 okay. That's the first thing they said. Be careful, Anthony. Anthony Edwards got himself into a situation. That's my that's my dog, and. He he has he has a a girlfriend, and yeah. I guess another female, and uh-huh. both of them is pregnant. And what happened? I think the girlfriend. Whoa oh, whoa whoa whoa! Come on now, come back to me. Come on back home, baby. He Wait, got a girl. He got a Give girlfriend. It to me again. Okay, he got, he a, got girlfriend. a girlfriend. Okay, slow down for me. And a side piece. Okay, okay, okay. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm correct, the girlfriend posted that she's pregnant. The girl. Okay. Wait. Anthony, okay. I was, hold on. I'm lost. 
I'm too old for that. I'm too old. I'm too old for What you shit. mean you lost? Okay. Because you said he Rail, got a girlfriend Rail, and she's Rail, pregnant. Rail, Rail, you, messed, you got Rail. Rail right. posts on IG, she pregnant. The next right. thing you know, the side piece you mess with, she posted, she pregnant too. Oh, no, nah, I don't like that. Oh, okay. I don't, I, don't, I, don't even even like, I don't even like I don't even like that hypothetical. I don't like that. You know what? God, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause you know, you ain't finna <laughs> You ain't finna wish that. Well, you got wish that devil. on you. <laughs> devil, don't play, don't don't uh, don't do baby. I know you in the chat, baby. Don't make don't pay him no mind, honey. No. <laughs> Uh, but now I'm with, you, I'm, with you, I'm with you now though I'm with you now Anthony Edwards gave a statement today after a woman released yeah. screenshots of mm -hmm. texting showing him pressuring her to get an abortion she yeah. also yeah. posted a screenshot of an alleged wire transfer of 100k he Ooh! said he Ooh! said I made comments in the heat of the moment that are right. not me and, I'm, and that I'm not aligned with I believe who I am mm -hmm. and who I want to be as a man yeah all women should be supported and empowered to make their own decisions about right. their bodies and what is okay. best for them. I'm right. handling my personal matters privately and mm -hmm. will not be commenting on them any further at this time. Okay, hold on. Let me jot that down real quick. Yeah, because I like I like the wordplay he used right there. I like that wordplay. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, I like that. And so I'm 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 assuming this this young lady that is the the peace side um she purposely put everything out to put the pressure back on him because she had already made the decision up in her mind because if right. if if she was for him in understanding the situation that he was in even though he put himself in that situation yes uh she sees the dollar signs and um right. i don't think I'm, I'm sure maybe he did understand brother anthony anthony edwards that that she was in it not for for you but what you can do Mm -hmm. You know, and she had a she had an end goal. Most yeah. of them always have an end goal, and she reached that end goal. Uh, Anthony Edwards made a mistake. Anthony Edwards as is, is young. We we mm -hmm. we all make those mistakes. We, um, I think we're the best. I think this, you this and I. You have you, you have to live with. You, you got you got to live with this one. Ocho, I think you and I are very very well equipped mm -hmm. because you and I both have kids from multiple women. Oh very, yeah, very close yeah. proximity. Yeah, and I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Had the situation had this been social social media back then, I'm right. not so sure they might not have put us on blast. Right. But, but uh, no, that's okay. I don't have no problems. I don't have. Right. I have very few problems. My foundation right. is together. My founder, right. We all work as one unit. It's it's, it's so, a good thing. But here's the thing, and this is what I always tell guys: be careful how you talk, mm -hmm. because everything is screenshotted. Everything mm. is saved. Mm. And so the moment you make someone mad, it takes right. a special type of person mm. not to not to damage the brand, not to blow up the spot when they get upset. Now, she might come around and says, I'm sorry, but the damage mm. is done. Yeah. Yeah. The damage is done. Listen, it's the difference. It's, it's a difference in understanding the individuals that you deal with or right. understanding the dynamic of the type of individual you're dealing with based right. on who they are and right. what they have going on. Right. If, you're dealing, if you're dealing with women, if you're diff listen to me, chat. Stay with me, baby. If you're dealing with women that have something to lose, understand when things don't go their way and situations aren't beneficial and the opportunity that presents itself based on the end goal and the vision that they have in mind, then everything turns for the worse. Yes, because you 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 you're no longer you're no longer the escape not the scapegoat. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for, Chad? Come on, search, 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 search. The opp the, the opportunity is gone. Right. They they don't want they don't, you you don't want to lose your oh, goal. You, no, man. no. What you want what you want to say? You the meal ticket. Oh, god damn it! There you go. Well, I'm glad. But you you pull you pulled it right <laughs> off my. I couldn't I couldn't even get it. You pulled it right out right off my tongue. But yeah, it's it's important. And I, I I preach it every blue moon. Assets and liabilities. Yeah. Assets and liabilities based on who you're dealing with, you know if it's somebody you should take serious or somebody for fun. Okay, you know what? Understand what you're dealing with before you even talk to her. Right. That's for fun. Enjoy your fun in a respectful way. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Based on what she got going on, oh yeah, we could take we could take this serious. Right. This is serious. This is something I can build I, with. I, I I just hate, I just hate that because no matter what. You keep mm -hmm. the child. You do mm -hmm. what you like. You said it's her decision. 
Yeah, but always. Yeah, it always. At, but at the end of the day, mm-hmm. this should have been handled between you and Ant. If you chose yeah. to keep it, that's between you and Ant. You chose to do what you wanted to do, that's between you and Ant. The world but should it, know about this it because was, you it got was, upset. Because it, it was never about Ant in the first place. You know that. It was never about Ant in the first place. If it was, based on what Ant has going on, then the rest of the world wouldn't even know about it. I agree. We would, we would, we would know about it. No, no. But you know, feelings got involved. You know, because ain't no. She fe- thought. Oh, she no, no, thought no, no, she- no, 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 no. Ain't no feelings. You know what time it is. Understand the play. The game is the game. The game has always been the game. The game hasn't changed ever. It always been that. You know what the end goal is. You understand the dynamic of the type of women you're dealing with, and you know what the end goal is at the end of the day. You live with that. I just, because you know it. You got to play the game the right way. It's chess. It's not checkers. The game hasn't changed, and it never has. It will always be the same. Certain types deal with certain type of men for the opportunity and the chance at if you mess up and you get pregnant, they set. Yeah. I'm good. But and what's that, the first thing they do? They expose you. They put you yeah. on blast. Now the money. That's what it comes. That's what that's that's the end goal at the end of the day. Always right. is. You know, we come out with the sob stories. Oh my God. Like, stop. You know what it is. It's okay. It's okay. I, I just feel it, I I, you know, I just hey and just keep your head up. It is gonna be the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. You're still gonna be Anthony Edwards. You're still gonna be called the ad man. Just yeah. go out there and play your game. It doesn't you hey, bro, we human. We it's human. Real deal. Yeah. Yeah, we all make mistakes. They, hey, I, 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 and I'd have been in a them, very similar situation. I, I yeah, them ain't mistakes, though. Them, them angels, them blessings. I'm talking about him. I'm talking oh, no, about I'm him just, not I'm protecting just saying in general. himself. Yeah, 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 too. But I'm, I'm just saying in general, based on how you might see it, or based how, based on how um, people, the chat, or uh, people in the world might see it. Oh, you got this so-and-so. Fuck that. Fuck that part. That part's done. I'm talking <laughs> about that little one. I'm talking about that little angel that's on the way. Right, That's right. a blessing. right. That's yes. a lesson. That's a that's a whole new chapter. I but like see, that part. But here's but here's the thing though, Ocho. Uh-huh. Once you screenshotted that, that's there yeah. forever. Now somebody's yeah. gonna come back and show that your daddy mm-hmm. didn't even want you. Oh, you see, shit. you gotta come think. Of, see, you, you gotta you think get, long you, you term. Get, you, everybody, you everybody deep. think just right now, instantaneous. But I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling you how you got to think. This is a right. child. Everything mm-hmm. is now saved on the internet for perpetuity. Mm-hmm. Right. So you that's have good, to be mindful a, a of what mm-hmm. you say, how you say it. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you think you might be talking to that individual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Them little ears going to see. Them little ears mm-hmm. going to hear. Them little eyes going to see. Mm-hmm. Then what? Yeah. You know, you know, um, I ain't telling you, I ain't telling you something somebody told me. I'm telling you what I know. Right. No, yeah. You know what's important? You know what's important too, especially for those when you get a little money and you want to leave off the front porch. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I think one of the most important things that we can do and one of the most important things that we should do, and this is for athletes coming up, those that, that might make it to the NBA or might make it to the NFL, I think it it would it would behoove you to always get serious with someone that was there in your corner, in your corner before you made it. Mm-hmm. In your corner before you made it. I think that's very important. I think that's very imperative because those that you meet, once you've already made it in general, I'm not sure they have your best interest at heart. I I I just don't think so. I I I don't think so. No matter how much you may think they do, those that were in your corner when you have shit, when you had a a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Yeah, that's who I think athletes. NBA players, entertainers should deal with and marry and want to build an empire and foundation with. Oh, oh Joe. That, that's just that's that's what I think. But here's the thing. How many times have we seen the story? Huh? We think see about it, it often. Oh, oh Joe. But you know what I tell people? I, I mean, mm-hmm. you think the moth wants to go to the flame? He can't help what he's attracted to, even though mm-hmm. it's gonna end up killing him. Say he that again. He likes what he likes. He cannot what? help it, he cannot control it. Where you be getting this shit from? Say that one more time about that moth, nigga. Come on, nigga. You actually bring, think bring the, that back to me. Do you actually think the moth really wants to go to the flame? I think the moth. He cannot help himself. Individuals, <laughs> they like what they like. You see, Ocho. I mean, just like I don't know. Like for me, I wanted the Rolex. 
I yeah. wanted a Ferrari because yes, that was a symbolism that I had made it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people want to get the girl that they mm -hmm. never would have had an opportunity to, to get. get. That's a good one. I want to get the big house, the That's big house one. that I would never been had an opportunity to get. Or mm -hmm. I want to get the car. Mm -hmm. Can't help it. Yeah. Like what but you like, Ocho. I have a question. Even understanding, knowing what you like and liking what you like. And once you get in the money and knowing you have access to what most would view as better, would be yes. prettier, mm -hmm. you know, is there an understanding as well and understanding that these individuals that you're going to and you're able to have access to and attain, is there a great understanding and knowing that they are not with you for you, but what you can do? Do they do they know that? I'm just asking, does, does common not, sense set not, in oh, and understand the game? I don't want to. I don't want to generalize or stereotype or so oh, and say don't, everybody don't, don't do is like that because i'm a firm believer and we tied this conversation ocho well we we've been we've been in this lifestyle way too long yes, now. don't you do, yes, don't you do yes, that to yes, me yes, come on yes, now yes so you believe you believe real with you because of who huh? you are what you have real well god shit, but did, did, that's the hard one this motherfucker oh well i almost cursed again yeah. excuse me excuse my language this motherfucker making more than me right now, so that can't right be the now, goddamn case. But what you have already made, you've already got a nice little bankroll. You sitting on no Joe? Come on now. Yeah, I got. Hey, I got nice. Exactly. Hey, listen, listen. I got. I got nice. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got nice little nest egg, man. Uh, yeah. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, but go ahead. It, but you know what? I, I just like I said, I just want. Right. I want what's best for Ant Man. Um, yeah. he'll he'll get over this. I mean, oh, yeah, just, yeah, 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 I yeah, mean, yeah. you're embarrassed. You're in, mm -hmm. The biggest thing is the embarrassment that you feel right now, right. because you, be, what we said, you got caught with your pants down. Yeah, because yeah. nobody knew, nobody knows unless mm -hmm. it comes to the light, and yeah. she brought it to the light. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, because she's upset with you, mm -hmm. and because your girlfriend, and she's like, mm -hmm. "Oh, what about me?" And me, she yeah. wants, she wants you to hurt like you hurt her. Yeah, you you, you know what? And you think about it. I mean, the situation is, is is not, he can't lose his job over this. But you think about dealing with people that have something to lose and people that have nothing to lose yeah. will ruin everything for those that they'll do. Throw caught. Yep. Sometimes. They, they, they will, they will, they, 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 they'll, burn, they'll burn your whole your whole empire down because they're upset and they don't think logically. They're stuck in the now and not the long-term effect of, well, you know, if I hit sin... Yeah, you know it, it could affect it could affect a whole lot of people. Oh, Joe, you know, you, people they don't think about that. You know, some people will sink your boat just because you won't let them drive it. Oh shit! Oh man, you. Boy, I'm you in the middle of the ocean, and you gonna sink the whole thing because I won't let you drive. Drive, and we all drown. We all perish. You willing to do that? I just, oh, I, I, I don't like I said. Tonight, look, I, I just, I just look. I, I, I just think that. For me personally, I just mm. believe they could, there's a better way to handle every situation. Yeah, no matter always. what it is, everything always. doesn't have to go through the public. Right. So why can't right. you go to him? Okay, I'm going to keep the child. Mm -hmm. But this I is the funny thing. Sometimes, sometimes it's women, and, I'm, and I, I can be on their side, they can have a viewpoint on something, and the man can be forcing the issue, and they really can't get through to him and getting him to understand, well... I'm giving you the hint on what I really want to do. Yeah. Now don't piss me off. Now if I can't get through to you, well I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get through you do this way, mm -hmm. and put everybody else in our business. Yes. And that's the way to get your attention. Right. But on the back end, maybe not in this situation, it ends up hurting most in the long run, mm -hmm. or sometimes in the short term because certain things like that can ruin opportunities. It can ruin yeah. chances. It ruined like, the relationship you know at the beginning. The, the, and eventually, the, you know, when you're young mm -hmm. and somebody do some stuff like that, you like, mm -hmm. forget you and, and that child. Yeah, yeah. And so, and, and but they, the thing is, and hopefully as he matures, and like mm -hmm. I said, he grows up and he understands, mm -hmm. that's my offspring. And mm -hmm. I want what's best for him or her. Yeah. I want a healthy child. And mm -hmm. I'm going to love that child, even yeah. though the child was not conceived or born under mm -hmm. ideal circumstances. Mm -hmm. It's here now. Yeah, my job is to love, cherish, and, and to make sure it's protected yeah. and have the best of what I can provide. Yeah, listen. The funny thing about it, everybody love you. Everybody love you when opportunity presents itself and it's convenient. Yeah, and it's beneficial. 
Mm-hmm. And I had this one, I had this this wonderful, this wonderful saying from a dude, a dude on Twitter, man, Trill AC. He always said, um, loyalty. Loyalty. Loyalty is nothing but a word in the dictionary in the dictionary. Loyalty is nothing but a word in a dictionary between opportunity and convenience. Because as long as there's opportunity and it's convenience, oh, we all I'm loyal. loyal. Oh, we 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 all loyal mm-hmm. when it's beneficial. But the minute it's not beneficial, shit. Well, you know how many women behave themselves based on the individual that they're dealing with? Because the situation, the opportunity that presents itself, well, the chances of me finding this again are slim to none. So you got damn right I'm act right. Until, but let that, until, let, let, until it's not let, convenient let, for the time for oh, me to act right. Oh, you talking about flip? And then I'm act a damn fool. I act a fucking <laughs> fool. Jose Castro Reels jumped back in and said, Ocho, your Shannon personality the genuine make me laugh. The stories on top of the sports talk are clutch. If TV were to limit this great duo, don't do it. Uh, we, we we definitely thought about that. And so we're definitely going to be who we are. Unculture mm-hmm. J said, Unc and Ocho, what are some of the things people don't think don't think you like, but you actually do? Movies, TV shows, music, food, etc. Also, Ocho tried out this new game called The Finals. I think you would enjoy it. The finals. Okay. Okay. Hey, that's a good question about things that I would like that people wouldn't know. I think my taste in music, my taste, my taste in the Sucks. arts. No, no, no. I'm, listen, the, my taste in the arts. I know the chat. Anybody in the chat know about Alvin Ailey? I love dance. The dance. I love yeah, Alvin Ailey I, I love. I love Alvin Ailey. Uh, theater. Obviously, my my favorite piece from Alvin Ailey, Revelations. I can do Revelations. On my well, obviously you know I have a background in ballet and dance anyway, but that's 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 neither here nor there. But yo, Miss Judith Jameson and Mr. Robert Battle, I have been a fan of Ailey since 1988. I was able to see Alvin Ailey at the Gusman Theater in Miami in 1988. My grandma forced me to go. Why are you making me go watch dance? I don't want to go see no dance. I don't want to go see it. Not that kind of dance anyway. (laughs) <laughs> no, absolutely. As in, in 88, do you know how young I was? I am not. Come on, man. What, Unc? She took me to see Alvin Ailey at the Gusman Theater in 88, man. Oh, my fucking God. You were hooked. Hooked. And when I just told you I can do every piece in Revelations by heart, shh, man. Love him to death. My, my, my musical choice. They hate me when I was playing with the Bengals. Whoever gets to the stadium first, gets to the speaker and has a surround sound, gets to play what they want to play because you're first and obviously seniority rules based on how long you've been there. You walk in there, one day I'm playing Sinatra, one day I'm playing Andrea Pacelli, playing goddamn, one day I'm playing jazz, one day I'm playing Beethoven. They hated that because I got ready for football games in a different way. I couldn't listen to rap. (laughs) I needed to be very calm because I talk shit all goddamn week. Now I got to go out there and back it up. And the last thing I need to be is rah, 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 rah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit, boy. Yeah. What's your favorite TV show? Oh, Sanford and Son, Good Times, Martin, Cosby Show, especially mm-hmm. Cosby Show, the episode when Placido Domingo was on there. I, mm-hmm. I don't know if you can remember it. And he sang Bessie Mamucho to Claire Huxtable. Yeah. Chat, if you see that, you got just go to YouTube and watch that part. Placido Domingo sings Bessie Mucho to Claire Huxable and Columbo. If you look at you know, you notice on my Twitter, my Twitter Avi is a picture of Columbo. Yeah. But with my face, Columbo is my favorite, favorite TV series of all time. Favorite. Uh, well, I mean, I obviously I liked all the good. That was when all the the all in the family and the Jeffersons yeah. and the good times, oh, all those, those I, I great I forgot shows. Jeffersons. I, I forgot Jeffersons. Um if I go, or I, I mean, I, I I love Ozark, um, Snowfall, oh, Ozark, Lincoln Lawyer. I love the Lincoln Lawyer, uh, Snowfall. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm watching this right now. Uh, it's called I think it's called The Family on BET. It's good, man. Sasha in Paris. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, the family? Is this a family oriented oriented type show? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a. It's uh, uh uh Ernie Hudson, who's it? Mm-hmm. Ernie Hudson, uh Tammy Rowan, uh Lisa Ray just came on, uh Michael J uh Michael J White. I mean, it, I, man, look, I only watch it when I go when I go see 
hey, Tasha, I know you watching when I go get my nails done at Tasha's. And wow. so she told me I can't watch it. I can't watch it at home, so I only watch it. So it's going to take me probably like three years to, to watch to watch a season because <laughs> right. I'm only watching for the hour and a half that I'm there. But it's a great show. I really I really like that show. But mm -hmm. I really don't watch a whole lot of TV, Ocho. If no. it's not sports, I, I don't really watch it if it's not sports. Oh, man, you got uh, um, you got to get you got to get into it. I didn't listen the fun when the pandemic hit. When yeah. the pandemic hit, I used Twitter to get a little bit more well cultured with yes. certain things that I hadn't seen. I'm not gonna say a lot to you. I saw the wire when the pandemic hit. I sat there and beans watched the wire and tweeted the whole throughout the whole wire. Me not realizing why the fuck is everybody got them clothes so baggy. This shit was filmed way back in the day when I was <laughs> when I was playing. Yes. And I never saw it mm -hmm. until the pandemic hit. I used Twitter with some good things I could have watched. Ozark. 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 That's my. Oh. Ozark. O Ruth Ozark Langmore and Darlene. Man, Ruth, boy, Ruth was the real deal. Boy. Hey, not them, Darlene. Boy, she got that Ruth. Deal. Ruth Langmore and, got, and Darlene. Hey, what about what about Queen of the South? Did you watch Queen of the South? I did. Queen, Queen of the South was good. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Uh, what, what else I saw on Netflix? I've watched a little oh. bit. I've I gotten to a little bit of Queen Charlotte, too. Oh. Queen Char I ain't never heard that one. Yeah. Queen Char hey, did you see Beef? You saw Beef? I didn't. I didn't. You got well, you got to see Beef. It's funny. Yeah. Little, little, little comedic, you know, a little fun. Yeah. Hey, yeah. beef, beef is really good. Very, very, very good. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Um, I'm just trying, I'm trying to think what else. Good times, all in the family. Hey, you remember the all of all in the family episode with Sammy David Jr.? I do. <laughs> because Listen, you know, normally the, normal the stuff they used to say back then. Oh yeah, you cannot they say, get away they with say now. The, they oh. say the N I G G E R. Oh, oh the yeah. hard. I mean, hey, white, but yeah, hard. Yeah, they it's call a, you. They crazy. call you the the, the the honk and 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 the, and the cracker. They call you all. Yeah. that. I'm like everything, and, and we didn't know any better. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean the times are bothered. They yeah. don't. They don't say that anymore. They used to say nah. Negro. Yeah, <laughs> on, yeah. On, on television, but a spick. They say spick. Yeah, they say all yeah. that stuff. But Crazy Ocho, here's the thing. You know, all that really spun off of All in the Family. When you look at the Jeffersons and you look right. at Good Times, because uh -huh. Florida Evans was a maid on All in the Family. They got Ocho, got Good Times. Normally, it started that. Maud, B. Arthur, Maud, yep, all that. Right. Okay. I ain't, I ain't know that. I, I never saw I never saw Miss, Miss, Mr. Esther Roll on. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I ain't know that. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, Jared Gaither asked, Uncle Ocho in Family Feud. Which family members are you choosing and who would win? Love the show, fellas. And that's family feud. <laughs> you no, know, you know it's not fair. What? My mama not here. You're right. My grandma not here. Man, you're not taking so, them on there. I'm just saying, if they were here, yeah. you know, rest in peace. Those are the type of people that I would need on Family Feud. My grandma's smart. Oh, she's sharp. She's sharp. Man, she's sharp. Ocho, she's Ocho, pencil, you know, man. man, they ask you the top. They ask you these questions about today's time, man. Granny ain't gonna be asking them questions. I ain't even yeah. thinking about taking my granny and mom on there. No, hell who, who, no. Who, who you gonna who you gonna take? Uh, if my sister wants to go, right, I'll take her. But she probably ain't gonna. I want. I know you my need, kids gonna want to go. Need, I know the kids gonna want to go. I want to crack under pressure. I know my kids gonna crack under pressure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take my three kids, so I only got mm -hmm. one person left. My brother ain't gonna. My brother ain't gonna want to go. You know mm -hmm. who I'm gonna take? I'm gonna take my uh uh. I'm gonna take my cousin. I'm gonna take uh uh Mud. I'm gonna take Simeon. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to think. You know. You know how I'm okay. I'm now. Let me get deep into my family. I'm thinking people on Family Feud, family members of mine that have great critical thinking skills. Right. In precious situations. Yes. I have a cousin. A cousin. Lisa Dingle, I know Lisa's gonna see this. She's a teacher. Lisa's very smart, brilliant mind. She's going with me. That's one. Uh, Rail, you got to take Rail. Rail, brilliant mind, very smart, very smart. Teaching me a few things because I thought I knew it all. Um, I need two more. I'm taking. I'm taking my little. I'm taking my little brother Chauncey. Chauncey, I know you're watching this, baby. I love you. I'm taking my little brother Chauncey. Or the kid gonna be take, mad. I'm a, nah. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait! I'm not, oh, you know one of my kids going. I know which one's gonna go. Yeah, but, but but the other one's gonna be I, mad. I one, you... no, they're not gonna be mad because they're not gonna be able to do it. They're not gonna be able to do it in that type of pressure situation and having mm -hmm. the critical thinking skills to be able to answer on cue very fast right. like that. My oldest daughter, Jakira. Okay. That that's that that's her thing. That's we her asked thing. 100 people the top five answer on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they be coming. They be coming up. I don't know, Ocho. I think I might get you. And what? Family Feud. Oh no, boy, that's what I do by Jeopardy and Family Feud. Boy, stop boy, playing do that. that. You damn well, you know, that. good well, you're not about to beat me in no Jeopardy. Who? Boy, Ocho. I used to sit there. I used to sit there and watch Jeopardy with my grandma every day. Ocho, I actually went on Jeopardy and won. Yeah, but you know they. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> yeah, I actually went on Jeopardy. <laughs> They gave you the answers ahead of time. You studied no them, man. And see, here's the thing, though, Ocho. Yeah. You can't ring in because if you ring in before he asked to uh, finish answering the question, it locks you out. Five. It locks you out. Oh, for real? It locks you out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Uh, like TJ that. Ellsworth asked, what's the best take you've heard from another analyst on either of your show or shows? Uh, I, Ocho, I don't know about you, but I don't really listen uh -huh. to anybody else's take. I listen to, I listen to all y'all. I listen to all y'all. I do. I, li I like. I like hearing what, what I hear, you say. I, I like. I like hearing what Stephen A. The, the funny. This is what I like about it. Everybody take is different. Yeah. Everybody take is different. The the delivery might be, the delivery might be the same, but the way it's said, the way it's said is completely different. But everybody's saying the same thing at times. Now, I, I think the person with the worst takes. I love him to death. I love him to death. That's my guy. But Lashawn McCoy. LaShawn, LaShawn, hey, but LaShawn funny, boy. LaShawn is so funny, and he be dead ass serious, but he gonna go all the way opposite of everybody else every goddamn time. He the contrarian. Boy, funny, man. Hey, he is funny. I listen to Richard Sherman. I, li I listen to Skip. I listen to or Orl Orlovsky, Ryan Clark, Swagoo. I like Swagoo. Yeah. Swagoo, I, yeah. Swagoo but nice with it, boy. He nice Ocho, with I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to anybody. When I come, when I come into the room, everybody, yeah. there's no sound on. Right. When I when I go to work, ain't no sound yeah. on. When I go into right, the green right. room, ain't no sound uh -huh. on. When right. I'm home, ain't no sound on. Right. I don't oh, hear what okay, anybody. Okay. I don't. I don't hear what anybody says. I don't know what so they say. Whatever you say, your first thought is always exactly how you feel based on That's what you've seen. Be, okay. be, based okay. on what I see, nobody's right. going to influence me or change. I might agree. I might right. disagree. We might right. be close, like you said. We might be close in a lot of what we say. Maybe mm -hmm. my wording and how I get to my point. It's, it's yeah. different, but I don't I don't really listen to anybody. Now, oh, yeah. having been at ESPN and having met the guys and having gone up against it, you know, Ryan, uh, uh, RC, and D.O., mm -hmm. uh, I've been on once with Swagoo, uh, yeah. P-Mac, Pat McAfee, yeah. uh, uh, Saturday, Jeff Saturday. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, listening to what anybody else have to say, mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah. That's because I want my I want my thoughts to be original. Right. Red Red Line One G says, "Oh, I'm curious where you get that necklace from. It's uh, you stay dripped out. Why? What that is? What? What necklace you talking about? I ain't got no necklace on, man. Let me let me see that. I look like look. I saw some ruby. I saw some rubies. It's a little gem, a little gemstone, a little something. You know, boy, you, <laughs> hey boy, you can't you can't have money, boy. Nah, That's oh, one thing about it. when it, when it's coming in, you can't hide it, boy. I nah, see you though. Hey, you look good, man. You know, uh, this is the only thing. I mean, this." This and this watch was the only thing I had on when my house got broken into and, and got robbed of all my stuff. So hey, but you had insurance though, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, but, okay, okay. Ocho, but okay. you know what? It's not about the insurance. I hate it's, that. It's, man. It's, the, it's the violation right. of somebody coming in and taking taking your, you know, ish. And you and you know what happened? See, you don't move like that. But when it comes to rappers or entertainers or athletes that always no. that always have entourages, whenever somebody house or some type of place that gets broken into, it's always somebody in your camp. It's always yeah. the people closest to you that do it. But with you, that's that's a, that's a different because you don't you don't yeah. move like that. I don't move that. You you, you man, no, I ain't have people. nobody. I mean, time is right. Time ain't been yeah. in the house. They're yeah, they been... They call who did it? Nah, they said there's there were some gangs that's going around. Oh, uh, so it's, okay, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. And a lot and a lot of there are several houses in this area that had gotten broken into. So right, it is what it is. Uh. What else we got? Unc and Ocho Winfrey, how do you stop being promiscuous and focus on building meaningful relationships? I've ended several relationships with a woman 
who were wife material. And how do I work on it? Love y'all. Let me, I, I, I hope y'all can ask, ask, answer the question however he chooses. But for mm. me and being where I am in life now, it's tough to trust, man. It really is. It really yeah. is. And the vetting process that I could have gone through or I should have mm -hmm. gone through mm -hmm. uh, when I was in college or mm -hmm. my first couple of years in the league before I became what I later became, it's hard, man. It's hard. It's, it's yeah. And everybody, and, and, and even, even mm -hmm. when things are at their best, Mm -hmm. When someone gets mad at you, they'll turn mm. and they'll do things that you like. I never thought if somebody I, I'd have been, I'd have put everything I own that you'd have never did this to me. Mm. So when someone says, "Oh, I wouldn't do that," I'm I'm Ocho. I've been done saying what a person will or won't do because yeah. you have no idea under you, circumstances you what a person will or won't do. Trust mm, you me. don't. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You you never know. You know, you you never know. And that's the scary part. That's the scary part because human nature, human nature is unpredictable. Yes. Human nature is unpredictable. I don't care how much someone says they love you. Yes. Human error. Stay with me now. Human error is inevitable. Yes. I don't care how much someone says they love you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We all make mistakes. Yeah. We all do. And and, and when someone do. gets, you get married, you can be married with that person five mm -hmm. or six years. Yeah. Divorce, is, divorce is the worst thing because mm -hmm. the woman gets half your money and take all the hoo-ha. That is mm -hmm. a good trade-off, Ocho. It ain't. That's why, that's <laughs> that why, that's why, that's why, that's why you think I ain't signing that You ain't that free up? Real, get him to sign it. No, I ain't signing nothing. Ocho. If, if, if at any point she may decide, you know what, baby, I don't love you no more. I don't feel the same way I did about you six, seven years ago. Well, you know what? If you you gotta pay me to leave. You gotta pay me to leave. I need hair. I need hair. And I want I want the baby. The baby stand with me. Oh man. You see, you just tried to hurt now. You just tried to hurt real. No, I ain't trying you, to hurt. I ain't, I ain't trying to hurt. Why she can't take the baby, Ocho? No, because I I I, I that's my responsibility. <laughs> that's my that's my responsibility. Huh? Because I also want I also want spousal support. Spousal support. So I want the baby with me. So so you want child support too, huh? Oh yeah, you oh, want yeah. alimony Listen, and child support. Yeah, man, the lifestyle that she has provided and the com the com the comfortable lifestyle that I get to live now because I have someone, you know, that's doing better than me. I'm enjoying this and I don't want to lose that lifestyle. Why? Yeah. I mean, they do it to us. They do it to us mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, wild wild cookie said, Uncle Nocho. Yesterday, I let my 16 year old Bishan Luna go take her rest. She was so special. I'm heartbroken, bro. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell wait, me nothing about putting wait, dogs down. Cause I wait. I, what kind of dog? A Bichon Frise. Oh man, beautiful white, beautiful white. Yes, beautiful. Yes, damn. But he said, but you would, but you cutting up with Coach Prime last night made me laugh through my tears. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Uncle Luna slept in my bed. No questions asked. Mm. Uh, man, look here. Like I said, Ocho, and I tell this one of my one of my uh. uh Favorite quote hey, is uh, hey, don't no, don't don't do it because you're gonna make you gonna have me crying again. Now nah. you had me you had me crying last time you talk about them dogs. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Oscar yeah. Romero once said, he said, some things can only be seen through the eyes that'll cry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a person can cry and you don't understand until those very tears have been in your eyes for a very similar reason. So when he said some things can only be seen through the eyes of cry. Mm. Cesar Romero, not uh, Cesar Romero. He's the uh, he was a uh, he was a uh, archbishop. I think it's it's uh, it's Cesar Romero. Mm. He was an archbishop. Oh, I need some tissue. Well, you, you fucked you me need? up real. Well, you fucked nah. me up real quick, boy. Nah, hey, I mean, yeah. Ocho, you know, look, hold on, hold on, I got need some tissue for real, man. You y'all y'all messing up my goddamn mascara, man. Oscar Romero, I thought so, yeah. He's an archbishop, right? Central America. Mm -hmm. Cesar Romero was the guy that played the Joker in the original Batman. Oh. 
OG Ocho, mm. you remember how do you do stop number 85? I borrowed yeah. that in high school. How do you stop number four? And mom wrote it on a card. The opposing team sent it, and I felt some type of way. I told her, you know what up. <laughs> mom put you out there. I mean, you doing all that talking. She said, I want to see what you what you, uh, what you you about. What, 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 what happened? I missed that one. I missed that. I had to wipe my tears. I had to wipe my tears real he quick. He said, uh, OG Ocho, you remember how, uh -huh. you, um, how you do the stop 85? I yeah. borrowed that in high school. How do you stop yeah. number four? And my yeah. mom wrote it on her car. The opposing yeah. team seen it. I felt some type of way. I tore they you. He said, I tore they you know what. Up. Oh, so he, he backed it up. He backed it up. There we go. That's, that's all it come down to. If you, if you talk it, you got to walk it. Every Absolutely. time. Uh, G Firm says, what they do, Ocho? I'm from the city, 79th and 14th. What's what up, Black? Uh, what they do, home what, team? <laughs> wanted to ask if you ever made amends with Ray Buchanan. Make amends for what? Well, that's I, the, I, love, I love Ray. Ray. He the real deal. I love, I love Ray. You played against Ray, y'all had problems on the field? Yeah, look, in the uh in the second Super Bowl, yeah. um, you know, Ray, Ray, well, you have to understand, Ray was at Indy. So mm -hmm. they ain't won Jack. So this is the first time that he's been in the media. This is the first time that you know, he's going to get some attention. Mm -hmm. So, ain't nobody thinking about Ray. Everybody, yeah. we the overwhelming favorite. We, baby, I right. mean, we we had just snapped the NF, uh, the a NFC's 14-year reign. Mm -hmm. So, the previous 14 Super Bowl, the NFC won, and they weren't close with the exception of the 90 Super Bowl in which the Giants, I think the Giants won 2019. All the right. rest of them been blowout. 55, 10, 45, 10, 35, this, you know, this, you know, Cowboys won 55, 19, and all. So the games weren't close. We beat Green mm -hmm. Bay 31, 24. We're coming back. Repeat. About to make history because, mm -hmm. you know, Mike told us, say, if you want to be remembered, you got to go back to back. We got to do this thing back to back. So that was right. on our mind. And, you know, he started popping off, you know, getting a little, mm -hmm. you know, he came out there with a dog collar, talking about yeah. the underdog. The best thing happened to them, I mm. got hurt. Because mm. had I not got hurt, I was gonna be the MVP. I was gonna tell I was gonna tell it. You finna get you finna get the boy that business. Cause we had played them the year before. Uh -huh. I went for like five for a buck ten on the tub. Right. It, man, we gonna man, we gonna do a number on them because we already knew they was gonna gear up to start T D. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna have to throw the football. John ended up winning MVP. Rod Smith had an 80 yard touchdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we we go do a number on him, but I ain't got no problem with Ray. Uh, we, yeah. I talked to him. I have I don't know where he is now. Um, he was in Atlanta a couple of years, you know, after that's happened, and he and I we had a conversation. But we, ain't, I ain't got no beat. Right. Michael Rubin Robin says, "Ocho, how did you become the goat route runner?" He didn't. He is. Hey, that, that that's a good. How you a doing, good Ocho? question? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> Man, working on work, working on working on my craft. You know what's funny? Who who doesn't get the credit? And I, I'm so glad I can say this for those that are in the chat, the people that might not know, might not know. I know there are, there are many football players in here that are watching. The person responsible for my success, and I'm gonna say with my route running that helped me out, started in 1997. Charles Collins. If you don't know who Charles Collins is, we we started something called Phenom Factory back in the day, back in L.A. When I was in L.A., I lived, you know, obviously back, I lived in the, in the jungles in the third building right off Coliseum across from Dorsey. Mm -hmm. Charles Collins is responsible for my route running. He gave me a formula. He gave me a formula with the cones and the ladders. And I took that formula and I didn't just work when we had to work and we had to train. Man, I did it over and over and over and over until it became routine. muscle memory. It became routine. Not only did it become routine, become I, it, became, it became a habit and such a habit where I was telling people my route right before the snap of the ball in confidence, knowing that I would still be I would still be able to get open because they probably thought I was lying anyway. Yeah, they did. They probably thought I was lying anyway. So it, it was a mind game. It was, the, it, was the, it was it was it was it was a mental game, a mental gymnastics, like I call it. And and it worked every time. Thought my feet had a mind of their own. I don't. I, sometimes I didn't even know it was wrong. I thought they had they had a mind of their own, and it, it was I, I don't know it was crazy. But I, I honed that craft for years before it even looked like it did. Once I got to the pinnacle, which I call the NFL.
Ryan oh, Logan. That, that, that was a lot of work, man. Shit, not that. It think is, about of it. course. Oh my God, that was a lot you of know, work. They say to become great at something, you have to do it for ten thousand hours. Yeah, but you can't stop doing it once you yeah. master the craft. Mm -hmm. That's your art. Well, you, you know, you know what happened now when the engine, the engine get a little old now. That thing don't run like it used to now. But get see, a little old, the, get a little old and beat up. Oh, Ocho, but see, that's why you probably was able to play as long as you did play. Because what got me through, Ocho, is that I understood mm -hmm. that my athleticism was going to wane. Yeah. My technique, I wasn't going to be able to be fast. I wasn't going to be able to outrun everybody. I wasn't right. going to be as strong as everybody. But right. if I was technically sound, yeah, that's going to... Why? How you think Brady? How you think Manning play all these years when they yeah. didn't have the athletic? Because they never relied on athleticism. Athleticism, right. Yes, I did rely on some athleticism, mm -hmm. but I was technically sound. Drop the hips in and out, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, if I'm running the seven routes, I'm gonna give you two steps. I'm gonna give you two, three steps to the post, and I'm gonna right look. every time. And then you're gonna be right there, and then I'm going right here to the call. I'm going yeah. to the seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, there there are little things that you do that you get great at, and it becomes mm -hmm. second nature. Yeah, and you can do it. You can do it in your sleep. Ryan Logan asks, "Hey, Uncle Ocho, I'm an aspiring sports analyst journalist." I just want to know any advice you guys would have in pursuing this career between the love between uh between I love the pod. Uh look, I'm not a journalist. I don't have a journalistic journalistic background, so mm -hmm. I can't tell you if you were to go that route. All I can tell you is this. Look. If you believe it and you got facts to back it up, say it. Yeah. It's really that simple. It's really that simple. And I really can't answer the question on being an analyst because I have a problem. I love every goddamn body. I'm too fucking nice. It's hard for me to be critical. So right now I'm not an analyst. I'm just, <laughs> I don't even know what you call it. I don't even know the word to call it. I, it's just, it, I'm, I'm so You my homeboy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't, I think the issue with me is. You get at it. You get, you, you, you yeah. get better at it. You know what, you know what I think my problem is? I think the problem is, is I'm not far enough removed from the game and I'm so close and still Bro, you a decade yeah but I'm still I'm still engulfed and submerged know what you are with the, is that with, when you with see the them guys you like when them guys dapping you up and hey, they're oh, oh, they they gonna no 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 they gonna they gonna let me regardless because it's me I'm just I'm just I'm a no, loving not person when you critique that not when you critique their ass like I do huh not when you critique their ass like I do they ain't they ain't gonna say nothing because it's me they ain't, I ain't gonna say, say nothing gonna because say it's me no, yeah. no 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 Ocho because there's a, there's an understanding on the way I do critique, but when you, you don't, critique, you don't, you're wait, not boy, critical. Boy, boy, you be mean, boy. No, I just, you be I mean. Like, listen, if I was playing today, if I was playing today, and you said some of that, the, the way you deliver, even though you're being critical, and it's your job, it's your job to do that. I ain't gonna say nothing. But when I see you, I'm, I'm gonna go upside your head. <laughs> that's how. That's how. That's how I would have. I'm just saying. That's why I would. <laughs> No, nah, nah, I'm just no, I'm just like, hey, Ocho, you need to be yeah. better. Yeah. You say yeah, you a top yeah, five yeah. receiver, and what you gave yeah. us today ain't top five. Top five. Okay. What you gave I, us today ain't top fifteen. Right, right, right. But sometimes, in order to be a receiver, you know, you need ten others to be able to be top five consistently. That's sometimes you can't, you, do, you can't. You, you didn't can't say do I, it you didn't say I was. You didn't say I was top five contingent on those other ten. That's not what you said. That's a good one. I, li I like how you being detailed. I love how I love. How I like how you being detailed. I love how people say I'm this and I'm that. And the minute they're not that, they say, mm -hmm. "Well, it's a team game." Well, you didn't mention yeah. it was a team game when you was bragging about yourself, <laughs> right? But right. I digress. That's very that's very difficult though. <laughs> and, and you know, Prime. And, and you know, Prime told you, you know, you know, on on how difficult. And I told you before too. And I was yeah. I was gracious in 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 saying that's something very difficult difficult for me to do and prime said it last night oh chad wow that bad motherfucker ain't gonna talk about nobody no, no. i'd never have ever but you know ever. why you know why you know why it's because here's the thing the greater the player the harsher the criticism stings mm. you are so you are a great player so the criticism mm. is gonna sting i was a great player i'm in the hall it's gonna sting mm. a little more so they can't mm -hmm. use, see, they can't use where well, you didn't do it when you played. You got Pro Bowls and all pro to back it up. I mm -hmm. got Pro Bowls, Super Bowls, gold jacket to back it up. Mm -hmm. So now what's their critique? Right. So what are they going to say? I don't know what I'm talking about. 
What did right. you win? How were you as a player? Mm -hmm. You better check that all decade team. Yeah. Shit, I'm on that too. It. Uh, they, they, uh, whoop, there it is. So see, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. That's what time and I we talk about. Like I said, time and I used to talk all the time. He say, mm -hmm. he say, he say, he say, oh, you don't understand. Look at who the criticism is coming from. You're not mm -hmm. just some Joe Blow. See, yeah. if you Joe Blow, they can blow that off. Well, he don't know what mm -hmm. he's talking about. Right. And you know, the, the the good thing I do like is the players that are being criticized understand you're being criticized because we hold you to a different standard based Absolutely. on who you are. Absolutely. Based on who you are. That's letting you know you are that boy. You're just not playing up to the standards that we're used to seeing. That's all. Uh, Uncle Shea been watching you for years. I grew up watching Ocho tear up the field. Question for you, Legends. I have a small YouTube channel, 8,000 subs, review and tech. Uh, what advice do you have to grow my brand and channel? Um, authenticity. Be who yeah, be you authentic. are. This is who hey, this is. You got to do Go something, though. Listen to me. You got to do something to command the eye. Yes. I don't know what it is. You got to do something to command the eye. Don't, don't do nothing crazy. Don't do nothing crazy. But you got to do something different to, to command the eye. That's right. it. Once you do people, whatever it is different to command the eye, boom, it goes from there. Getting them is the easy part. Mm -hmm. Keeping them is the it's, hard yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. Because people gotta, are trying. Gotta be interesting. People, and you're never going to get a second chance to make a first impression. So whatever you do, whatever you roll out, ooh, Ocho, ooh. whatever you roll out, let it be the best. And I'd rather be delayed in delivering something as opposed to be rushed because you're not going to get those, you're not going to get those people back. Right. And say, man, this, this was some bull jive or the food mm -hmm. didn't taste good. That's not, they're not going to come back. So mm. it was very unique in what we did when we started this channel, but mm. we were our authentic selves. This is, this is who we are. Yeah. So, Bro, just keep plugging eight. away. Eight five. Just, just be true to who you are. Whatever your brand is, I don't know what your brand is. I think everybody. Knows my brand is is discipline. My brand is hard work. My my brand is is dedication, determination. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I I like to think I'm professional. And whatever your brand is, that needs to be your brand all the time. Yeah, my my brand is shit. Love, I love you. I, I, you know, I joke, but I can get serious based on what the topic is at hand. And the only problem I have with my brand is I curse too damn much. That's it. Jordan B asks, which Jordan sneaker is the Jordan is the best Jordan all time? The one or the eleven? The ones, now, of course. The ones. I, the 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 eleven has actually taken over as the most popular Jordan. You know, I got a little something here for y'all. What's that? I don't know if Oh, that's the patent leather. That's that patent leather joint. That's the OG. Yeah, all you need, you need a New Orleans Saint jersey with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, but here's the thing. And let me tell you why the, the Levens will win out. Because when Jordan came out with that Concord, that 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 Concord, you remember that, that black mm. and white Concord? And then yeah. he came with the breads. And then mm. he came with the cool grays. Yeah. Even the Arctics. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing touching that. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I love the OGs. You know, the mm -hmm. original OGs, the the black, white, and red, the uh, uh mm -hmm. the, the 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 breads, the OG ones. Yeah. Ain't nothing the, with them. Ain't nothing much with them levels now. The funny thing, I don't, I don't, I don't have no Jordans. Ex outside of Jordan ones, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, all, I, I, all, I, all, all the all the all the basic colors. I don't have nothing else except <laughs> Jordan ones. I and like I, the threes I rarely, too. I rarely wear them, and I, you know, I hoop, you know, I hoop in my ones, right? Yeah, you should. I mean, yeah, I, I hoop in my ones. I don't, I don't like supporting people. Are like, man, what you doing? You ain't got no ankle braces. I need to feel the floor. I, I'm weird. It's weird. I need to feel the floor. You if are I, weird. If I, feel the, if I if I can't feel a hey, unk, if I can't feel the floor, it it, it feel like I I, I it's, it's, it's weird. When I played, right? You know, I was, you know, you know, I, I was a Reebok. You. you heard me? Yeah, I heard you. I was a Reebok, and no Reebok made my shoes back then. Yeah, I made Reebok take all the lining out my shoe. I ain't want no support. So all it was was a cleat, the shell, and some shoelaces. So it felt like a track spike. Mm -hmm. So every step I took, I need to feel. I need to feel the bottom of the floor. Did, did you tape your ankles? Hell no, nah, because that that would restrict me in stopping and getting out of my break. Yeah, I don't yeah, want nothing ankles, restricting my, me, my, man. My ankle, I, I taped directly to my skin. 
So oh, okay, I had okay. I, I had mo you know I had that mole skin, you know that brown right. tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I know about, yeah, yeah. I, I taped yeah. directly to my skin. Now that was just on game day. During the right. week, I'd use you know pre wrap, didn't get a tape mm -hmm. that tight. But boy, no, I couldn't do that. Jordan B says, but the the one is the original, the icon. When you say Air Jordan, it's the sneaker mm -hmm. that people think of. It is, but it's yeah. not the most popular one. Double B Studio said, just brought your cognac. How how do you like it on the rock? Basically, what you should do is that get you a couple of drops of water so it'll open it up so you can really taste the body. But we mm -hmm. have some great cocktails that you can make. It all depends. Simple. I'm a very simple guy. Very simple guy. And I know a lot of people don't think, you know, cognac makes a great mixed drink, but you're wrong. And we got some great recipes that we put together. So uh, thank you, Double B, for the support. Laney Ray asks, great show, guys, Shannon Nocho. If you had a movie made about you, what actor would you want to play you? I, I, ASAP. Hey. Or Tyrese. ASAP, Tyrese ASAP. I think I'm trying to think who the hell could play me. Terry Crews. Samuel Jackson would have to play me in later. <laughs> I will say I will Samuel L to play me. Oh man. You don't curse enough for saying you don't curse enough. I do it my own place. I don't want to curse. Oh, okay. Uh no, nah, I, I try not to curse because you know when I'm talking to my sister, she's talking about boy, stop all that nasty cursing. <laughs> and you know with my mom, I don't, I don't curse around my mom. I didn't curse around my grandma. So you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I let a couple of fly by. So that boy, stop all that nasty cussing. <laughs> I said, you ain't my mama. Uh, who? Yeah. Damn. Everybody goes. Everybody be normally, you know, uh, uh, when they ask black people, they like Denzel, uh, Idris Elba. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Eddie Murphy in a muscle suit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, 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 Ocho, you know what? Mm -hmm. I think people. If someone say, well, Shannon, describe yourself. Yes, sir. I'm the most outgoing introvert you'll ever meet. Mm. That's the most outgoing introvert. That don't even make sense. Not, uh, when you think about it, outgoing introvert. Mm -hmm. The person, like me, like at the end of the day, I'm exhausted. Mm hmm. I don't really hang around a whole lot of people. I don't really right. go out. Mm -hmm. So I'm from point A to point B. Mm. I go to the Lakers game. I come into the Lakers game like five minutes after the game starts. I'm up out of there. Mm. I'm back home. Hey, man, we got this going on. I've never been to a, I've never been to a Christmas party in my life. Not a Bronco Christmas party, not a Ravens Christmas party, not a CBS Christmas party, not a Fox Christmas party, not a volume Christmas party. Mm -hmm. Not a not a teammate's Christmas party, right? I'm just do my thing. I'm out. Yeah. Well, I shit, don't, I I don't even go out. I don't know what kind of vert I am. <laughs> but, I tell you yeah. what, we gonna do though. We going to Magic. I will put the call oh, into Magic. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm trying to see what the uh, the the lemon pepper wings in the in the in the juice talking about the the bee juice. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have that. They're gonna have it on, on, on the menu. Corey Graves asked, oh, Do you remember the NFL football camp at San Diego Senior High around 93 94? You had the loudest mouth there. Ocho, let them dance. Let them dance. Uh, yeah, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was Martin Bayless. That was either Martin Bayless or Rest Your Soul Junior Seau's camp. I do remember. I absolutely remember. Liberio Lawyer says, Unc and Ocho, you guys are killing it. I love the content. Ocho, can't wait to see you out there teaching these young kids. Unc, when you when you come to Colorado, I ask because a few chairs from Old Mile High, I'm trying to get you to sign. Man, how you get those chairs? <laughs> Did they tell you come to get those chairs and y'all you came and picked them up? Who that? Uh 
Yeah, you know when they stadium, a lot of times that that's like okay, you want to get the chairs like when they they demolish you, you can come get you can, you you can take get. them. Yeah. Oh, that that's a, that's good memorabilia. Yeah, that's good memorabilia. You ain't get nothing. For, you ain't take nothing out of the, uh, the Bengals. I'm not, I'm still there. They still, you know what? Actually, they still got my shoulder pads. They still got all my stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 flip boxed it up for me. He still got. He's like, Sharper, you want me to send it? I like. Wait, nah, you I'll still got it. your stuff? You play? You played in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I got shit, man. Yeah, I got the shoulder pads. I got. Uh, I can I took my helmet with me, but they got my shoulder pads. I mean, I ain't wear thigh pads or anything like that, but they got my shoulder pads. All the stuff, like the lotion and all the stuff right. that I had in my locker, mm -hmm. they boxed up. He still got it. You know <laughs> what I want? I wonder, listen, how many How many we got in the chat right now? Um, Probably about 25,000, 20, 24,000. I wonder if, obviously... I've said it before, I think on, on a much smaller platform, and it, it wasn't able to get out the way it should. Anybody in the chat, if anybody can track down that Hall of Fame jacket, if anybody can track down that Hall of Fame jacket that I put on against the Ravens on that Monday night or Thursday night, whatever night it was, I will pay you handsomely if someone could track down that old jacket. I don't know yeah. how to do it. Yeah, I've been, I'll I've make been you one. No, no, I, I, want, I, I, I want the one. I want the I, five grand. Nah, not enough. I'm gonna hold on to it. God somebody, damn! Somebody, somebody paid me more than that. Nah, listen. Anybody in the chat, man? If you know how I can find it, or, or you know the avenue, am I somebody and, in the chat? You, no, I'm talking about. The, I'm talking to the chat. They have the resources. I think the chat has a better reach than we do when it comes to stuff like that, especially. So what you do with the jacket? I I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember I put it on and I took it off and finished the game. That's all I remember. So somebody has it. So they're going to see this and somebody will be like, hey, yeah, I have your old jacket from back then. I pay you 5000 maybe ten. I ain't going no, I ain't going no further than that. But I just I just would like the original that I put on. Please give me 25 so, and I'll let you get mine. Nah, I don't like no because everybody got that one. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't, don't. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that one. I'm just saying there are other people that mine actually got two, have that mine one. Mine got 267 in it. 267 20, what? That's what number I am in, when I entered in the Hall of Fame. So oh, you oh, number, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. I got if I, you, if I got I'm you. not mistaken, well, well mine, well, mine, mine, first is, year? mine is one. Is one of one. Might have been the first year. Sixty three might have been. What was the first year the hall? If I rule the world. Sixty three. I'm sorry, Ash. Ash always looks at me and asks, why you mm -hmm. ask me to look it up when you already knew the answer? <laughs> I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Ash, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, hold up, Patrick Waller asks, oh, them legs, how them legs feeling? Saw the video of you putting in work and are your workouts more pushing or pulling? Man, my man, I was hurting. Um, Jordan had to help me get in the truck. That was <laughs> a bad day because actually I wouldn't lift that morning and I had right. to do the sit down with Francis and Ganu that afternoon. I was hurting. Francis and then, Ngannou, you did you yeah, sat with him? I sat down with him. And here's the thing. I did the interview and then I flew back home to LA and then had to get on a flight the next day and go to uh 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 go to New York. Mm. That was not fun. My butt was on fire. I want to fight so, him. Who who? Francis? No. Nah. Mm -mm. Hey, you know, you know, honestly, you know what they say is not the size of the dog in the fight. Mm -hmm. Besides the fight and the dog. And I nah. really think I beat Francis in Ganu ass. You go out running. Nah. Ain't, ain't gonna be dude. no running. He, oh, I he, know he's he, a big he, dude. He, he, no, he's bigger than you think. I like he to is? think I'm a fair. Yeah. He legit, he legit six four and a half, six five, probably about two seventy five. Two what? Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Nah, come on yeah. now. Maybe yeah, he, about two two thirty. No, hell no. Nah. He he bigger than I am. Hell, I'm two fifty. But I'm about to lose some weight, Ocho. I'm about to get on down. I'll be, what? I'll, I'll be slim and light skin. <laughs> yeah, hold up. <laughs> What's the point? What, what you losing weight for? I want to lose weight. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit too heavy, Ocho. I'm, I'm going to be 56 next year. Lord, right. spare my life. I don't need to be 250. I need to be like 235. But, I'm saying, but you 250, but you rocked up with it, though. Nah, you know? I'm going to take some of this off. Nah, you good. You good. Nah, hell no. Nah. You good. I will get in better shape because Jordan think he can be a get in better shape than me. 
And that uh -oh. he can't. Are y'all finna compete? Even though, even though, even though he's 30 years younger than me, he can't. Right. He can't. And I just want to show it. We're gonna get a little wager. We're gonna put five grand. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna say, I want you to put a month's salary up. I don't know if you're gonna win. I don't know if you're gonna win that, man. You say he's younger than you. You say oh. he's young, he's younger yeah. than you. Yeah, he's younger than me. He's younger than me. I don't know. You, hey, you better go look at you better go look at that 54 picture. Go look at that 54 picture. Yeah, you gonna man, get back to that. Stop playing with me. You gonna get back to how you was at 54? Yeah, I'm gonna get back like I was. I get back like I was uh, on my screen, uh, on my it's, Twitter screen. It's, it's gonna be hard to get down. It ain't hard. It might be my. It might be my IG. Let me see. Yeah, you see the IG post. You see my uh, my profile pic. Matter That's fact, me at 45. Hey. Can I can I show you? I don't know if the chat can see this, right? Because y'all don't believe me. You be making fun of me, right? Yeah. I want to I want to show you something, right? Hold what on, you want to show us? Let me find. I'm, let me show you something. Oh, it's a it's a picture. It's a picture where I was where I was where I was uh I was about two o five. Man, you ain't never been over two hundred. No, no, no. I'm not even lying. Tell me if you can see it clear. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. that one ninety five. I see. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. You see how big I am? One ninety five. Nah, I'm, I'm about two o five right there. Nah, listen, I don't, I don't know. I was, I was working with uh, with my, working out with my trainer Jared Jenkins on on Instagram. So if y'all want to follow Jared Jenkins on Instagram, he's a personal trainer and actually the per professional bodybuilder right now. Man, buddy had me on a a strict diet. Yeah. Knowing the way I eat, yeah. and I was trying to push the body to see how big I can get. Three months, unk, I ain't never looked like that, boy. But it it, it made me uncomfortable because I, I was stiff. Mm -hmm. I was stiff. I couldn't do. I I didn't do no running. I didn't do no cardio. We hit, we we worked out in the morning. We ate. I had to eat three times a day. I never eat three times a day, but I, I had the discipline and structure to follow his instructions for three months. And the motherfucking results, Jesus oh, yeah. Christ! But oh, I, you I put the work good, in. The, yeah, I feel I feel in all my clothes. I feel in all my clothes. I just I just I felt good about myself. But I don't I don't like I like I like I, I like I, how I, I look am like now. it. I ain't trying to fit in my clothes. I'm trying to look good out of my clothes. That be me though. <laughs> that be me. <laughs> that be me. <laughs> hey, you know I see that clothes. Uh, you need. Hey, I, when I come up out of this, I yeah. don't want nobody to be like, oh. Uh, I, I I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. You know what I'm saying, I'm, Ocho? I'm, I'm I'm shy. I ain't really with that getting undressed I, in front I, of nah, people. I know. I, yeah, I'm I'm shy too. I'm cutting lights off. You don't need to see all this. Yeah, that, that's what's, what's one thing about it. I don't. I can't have no lights on. I, that's why in the daytime, man, I ain't doing. Well, nothing. I mean, you have lights on now. Who? Me? Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> well, you, well, you better. You better than me. Nah, I mean, you. I had to grow up because I was real shy, Ocho. Oh, you had to grow up. Well, you ain't grown yet because there's some things you you ain't willing to do. Man, there you go, Ocho. We're not finna do this, I, Ocho. I know we we're not finna do it. I ain't finna go there. I'm just I'm just reminding you. You use the word grown up, but you really ain't where you think you you really ain't where you think you are because you really ain't tapped into your potential. Now, when you tap in your, into your potential and take it where you want to be, where you want to go, or where she want to go, then I know you're grown. Yeah, but you ain't there yet. I, I need I need to I need to get a uh, a couple of first class tickets so we can both go where you want to go. <laughs> I hope that's what you talk about. I hope you ain't talking about another thing because uh... <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say it. I'm I'm saved now. You know I got baptized last night. You man. did? Oh yeah, because I I can't backslide no more. Now nah, that's that's awesome for you. Please yeah. make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you, Lee. We're at four, Ocho. We started the chat at four hundred and eighty-one thousand. Yes, sir. Now we're at four hundred and eighty-four thousand. God damn! I, yeah. I listen. I, I love y'all. I don't know how I can repay you. I don't know how I can repay you and thank you. You know because words aren't really enough to describe how grateful I am for y'all subscribing yeah. and telling your friends for subscribing and telling your aunties and your uncles. I love y'all and, and and you know how I am. If I see you and you stop me. You, you know you know what you're gonna get. I'm going to invade your space. Bring it in here. Let me get a hug. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you, man. I really appreciate y'all, man. From the from the bottom of my heart. Yep. I echo and co-sign everything that he said. We really, really appreciate it because we've grown faster than we ever thought. Um, 
I don't know if you know this, guys, that when we started this show, the show was only supposed to be 25 minutes. And mm-hmm. I, I remember saying, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. And then it's like, okay, we went an hour. And then we went 75. And then we're an hour and a half. And mm-hmm. customarily now, we're at like two hours. And yeah. on like a, 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 a Wednesday, Thursday, or thir- you know, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes we're three hours. Yeah. That, or that Saturday. Thursday. Thursday is Thursday and Thursday we going Saturday. three hours. We going Thursday three hours. Saturday. And I'm finna, t- I'm finna talk. I'm gonna talk. So we really appreciate it because you guys and, and you make it so easy. When your mm-hmm. fan questions, obviously we get to the yeah. sports, but we realize that you come for the sports, but you stay for the stories. And yeah. so we greatly, greatly appreciate you and all the love and support that you've given us in the first three and a half months of this podcast. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're officially at 484,000. We pinned the Shea by Laportier link at the top of the page. Please make sure you go get a bottle for you or a loved one. And go to Apple Podcasts. Give us a review. You're doing great. Um, That really helps us to bring you a better product because at the end of the day, our job is to get better, not stay the same. It's to get better. And that's what we strive for every single day. We go back and uh, ask her, well, hey, we should have probably got this in. Uh, Ocho, you know, I shoot Ocho or Texas and say, hey, uh, uh, let's try to do a little better at this because mm-hmm. we're all about trying to improve. Oh, I don't know if you saw this. It, where is that one about the uh, about the hotel? Oh, here it is. There's a hotel in Japan, Ocho. Uh-huh. It costs you $1 a night to stay there. That's it? But they, oh, but they oh, I'm, live, there. I'm there. But they live stream your entire stay. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that because I'm all about entertainment and putting on the show. Now you know I used to dance at the right track back in 1997. Nah, so I have you. you. I you know I have no problem staying anywhere or being filmed. Another mm-hmm. thing, I'm not gonna say the word. I used to do amateur. You know what? Back in the day too, in order to feed myself. So being on camera don't mind me none. It don't mind me none. And for a dollar, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my dollars worth of that stay. In Japan, don't you? But you Japan. go to the hotel. You go to the hotel for privacy, right? But we talk about a dollar. I'm about saving money. I'm about saving a buck. I, that's always been my mantra. That's always been a part of me and everything I do. I'm always looking for deals. I'm looking for loopholes. How can I save a dollar? How can I save a buck? You telling me about a hotel in Japan where I can stay and sleep for a dollar? You think I care about them goddamn cameras rolling? I ain't doing nothing anyway but going to sleep. I know. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to shake no covers for dog. <laughs> I go to the hotel. I'm going to shake the covers for dog. That's what the old people call those jokes. They ain't, you, oh, y'all ain't shaking no. You ain't going to shake the covers for dog. Or I'm going to shake like the covers for dog. I like that. I got to I gotta <laughs> use that. I got to use that. Shake so the you covers. Would, so you would go uh, uh, live. You would let someone live stream oh, yeah. in the hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not. Yeah, Ask it's not the same. Chat. If you could stay at a hotel for a dollar a night, but you had to li- let them live stream what you had going on, mm-hmm. would you would you be able to do it? Yeah, easily. Hell no, easy, easy. man. I'm too I, I'm private. Not, I'm not. I'm not sure why. How you private? You ain't doing nothing. Ain't nothing but you and the dog. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> you okay, know okay, okay, okay. You had the whole day. Hey, you got a little something with you, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, if, if I'm going away to a hotel, you got to have something. Okay, okay, you're right. Yeah, you <laughs> might have been. In, you might be in Japan on business. You never know. Man, look here. I've been to Japan twice, and uh, it's for football games, and mm-hmm. uh, that was a long time ago. It yeah. was hot as hell because we went in the summer. Japan Ooh. hot, hot, yeah, it's hot. No, but what? I, what I'm gonna do in the hotel? Hell, I got Ash and Jordan with me every time I go somewhere. <laughs> there you go. You ain't got nothing I mean, to worry about. Ash get Ash get to the roof. Uh, Ash got a key. She get to the roof. I'm like, damn, it's already time to watch the game. And here come Jordan. Mm-hmm. Like, what the hell, y'all? I mean, can I get like? Can y'all come at one? It mm-hmm. is like one because you know when you're on the East Coast, the game starts at one. one but yeah. when I'm here, when I'm here in in L.A., the game starts Start at ten. 10. Yep. Man, Jordan the shoot takes balls up here. Damn. <laughs> did you did you did you sleep here? Cause I could have mm-hmm. swore. I just got to I just see. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, be on time. Yeah, oh yeah. I absolutely be on time. But that's that's a that's a big that's a big part of it. You know, time is 
uh uh-uh. uh. I don't like that late. I don't like that that late S H I T. That don't work for me because you telling right, me right. my time don't even matter. Yeah, yeah. I done told you. I told you seven, eight hours, ten hours, two days, a day in advance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you mean to tell me after all that, you, you could give yourself enough time? Oh time. man, yeah. ooh, ooh, I hate late. That's why. That's why I said yesterday we was on the phone with Prime. I set all my watches and clocks five minutes, sometimes ten ahead of mm-hmm. ahead of time, just so I'm always on time. A thirty five percent says yes. Sixty five percent said no. See, sixty five percent trying to do something for two something. They looking to shake the covers. They looking to shake the covers, Ocho. Oh, <laughs> you laugh. I gotta steal that. I gotta use that. <laughs> Real, what they do, baby? You trying to shake the covers? Yeah, I'm trying like to get that. I like that. I like that. Before dark, man. That's hey, that's a good that's a good way to, to use that delivery when you want to let somebody know, you know, but you don't want to say what you normally say, but yeah, you want to get yeah. your point across. Yeah. And it's, it's it's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. How you doing? Um, you know, I've been very, very uncomfortable and I don't know how to ask you this, but we've been doing we've been going on a few dates for a while now, you know, and we on date three. And I, I just I yeah, I don't I don't know how to say it and I I don't want to be I want to be respectful in yeah, my delivery yeah, yeah, and doing such. Forward. Yeah, I don't be too forward, but I just wanted to know if you, you know, uh, if the opportunity presented itself, would you just like to shake the covers? <laughs> <laughs> Man, she gonna say <laughs> shake the covers. Yeah, we try to shake the covers for dog. Right, for oh, dog. Man. Oh, no, you know, no more, no more, no more. Hey, was it? Hey, got about seven, eight or nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. The old people sleep. Out of there. They, they out of there. Out of, out of there. Because they don't work 12, 14 hours. They don't work hard. They ain't got no no job mm-hmm. and no office and no desk. They work a field job. So they had to get it in for the dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. again, thank you. Thank you for watching another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that uh, uh, subscribe button. Uh, we really, really appreciate you. We'll be back. I'll be back on Wednesday with Gail. Ocho might uh, stop by for a couple of yeah. minutes on Wednesday. Yeah, night, I, oh, I, definitely... I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat. <laughs> no, nah, you you might have to you might have to come in for an hour. Might have oh. to come in for an hour. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> but hi. Uh, Ocho and I'll definitely be back, Uncle and Ocho, on on Thursday night, and then we're back at it again Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, and. Hey, cause you know you know the big game is on on on, on uh, Christmas, the 49ers and the Ravens. Oh, the Ravens. Oh, so we'll be we'll be, hey defense defense. So criminal defense so, defense. So, hey, it's gonna be a criminal special. Yeah, criminal I'm gonna special. be here. I'm I'm gonna be here. I gotta be here in Philly too, cause I got oh do, you do um, yeah, uh, I oh inside the NFL, NFL on, Tuesday. on the on the twenty on Tuesday. Yep. So thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Bengals, ring of famer, legend, best route running in NBA history. <laughs> <laughs> best route running in NBA history. Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Mm-hmm. We're out, guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. I love y'all. <laughs>